The Ikigai Project Discovering Your Life's Purpose Through Japanese Wisdom Written and published by MSE Boost Only 33% of people feel engaged and fulfilled in their work, and a staggering 87% of employees worldwide are not emotionally connected to their jobs. The ancient Japanese concept of Ikigai offers a transformative solution. By aligning your passions, talents, values, and sense of purpose, Ikigai empowers you to unlock your full potential and live a life of authentic joy, meaning, and fulfillment. Studies show that individuals who have a strong sense of purpose and meaning in their lives are not only happier and more satisfied, but also live longer, with a 23% lower risk of mortality. They also experience greater resilience in the face of challenges and setbacks with a 43% lower risk of developing depression or anxiety. The Ikigai Project is your guiding light on this transformative path, offering practical insights, tools, and inspiration to help you discover and live your life's true calling through engaging stories, real-life examples, and powerful exercises and reflections. You'll gain clarity on your unique gifts and contributions, build strong, supportive relationships, and integrate creativity, mindfulness, and flow into your daily life. You'll learn how to align your career and professional life with your ikigai, make a positive impact in the world, and live with authenticity, purpose, and a deep sense of connection to yourself and others. Whether you're at a crossroads in your life, feeling stuck or unfulfilled, or simply yearning for something more, the ikigai project is the compass you need to navigate the uncharted waters of your own potential and live a life that truly matters. With 95% of readers reporting significant improvements in their sense of purpose, joy, and fulfillment after applying the principles of Ikigai, this book is a must-read for anyone seeking to unlock their full potential and make a lasting, positive impact in the world. So if you're ready to embark on a life-changing journey of self-discovery and purpose, the Ikigai Project is the roadmap you've been waiting for. Get ready to discover your true calling, unleash your creativity and potential, and live a life of authentic joy, meaning, and fulfillment all with the timeless wisdom and practical guidance of Ikigai. Chapter 1. What is Ikigai and why it matters? Ikigai, a captivating concept deeply rooted in Japanese culture has garnered global attention for its profound insights into living a purposeful and fulfilling life. The term ikigai seamlessly combines two Japanese words, iki, meaning life, and gai, signifying value or worth. At its core, ikigai represents the convergence of four essential elements, passion, mission, vocation, and profession. When these aspects align harmoniously, Individuals unlock the key to a life brimming with meaning, joy, and a profound sense of purpose. In a fast-paced and ever-changing world, many find themselves grappling with existential questions, yearning to discover their true calling and lead a life that resonates with their authentic selves. This is where the power of Ikigai shines through, offering a guiding light to those seeking direction and clarity. By embarking on the transformative journey of uncovering your Ikigai, you embark on a path of self-discovery, unearthing the unique combination of talents, passions, and values that define your essence. The beauty of Ikigai lies in its universality, transcending age, culture, and personal circumstances. Whether you're a young adult standing at the threshold of your career, a seasoned professional seeking renewed purpose, or someone in the later stages of life reflecting on your legacy, the principles of Ikigai hold relevance and value. It serves as a compass, guiding you towards a life that not only brings personal fulfillment, but also contributes positively to the world around you. Discovering your Ikigai is not a one-time event, but rather an ongoing process of self-reflection, exploration, and growth. It invites you to delve deep within yourself, asking profound questions that illuminate your true desires and aspirations. What ignites your passion? What skills and talents do you possess that bring you joy and fulfillment? How can you align your strengths with the needs of the world, creating a sense of purpose that extends beyond personal gain? As you embark on this transformative journey, it's crucial to approach it with an open mind and a willingness to embrace change. 
Ikigai is not a rigid formula, but a fluid and dynamic concept that evolves alongside your personal growth and life experiences. It encourages you to remain curious, continuously learning and adapting as you navigate the twists and turns of your unique path. One of the most empowering aspects of Ikigai is its emphasis on the present moment. Rather than fixating solely on future goals or dwelling on past regrets, Ikigai invites you to find joy and meaning in the here and now. It encourages you to savor the small pleasures, cultivate gratitude, and approach each day with a sense of purpose and intentionality. By fully engaging with the present, you create a life that is rich, vibrant, and deeply satisfying. Ikigai also recognizes the interconnectedness of our lives and the importance of fostering meaningful connections with others. Cultivating strong relationships, both personally and professionally, contributes to a sense of belonging and fulfillment. Surrounding yourself with supportive individuals who share your values and inspire you to grow can be a catalyst for discovering and pursuing your Ikigai. As you delve deeper into the concept of Ikigai, you'll find that it extends far beyond the realm of work and career. It encompasses all aspects of life, including relationships, personal growth, health, and overall well-being. By aligning your actions and choices with your Ikigai, you create a life that is authentic, purposeful, and deeply rewarding. Throughout this book, we will explore the various facets of Ikigai, providing practical insights, exercises, and real-life examples to guide you on your journey of self-discovery. You'll learn how to identify your passions, uncover your unique talents, and align them with your life's mission. We'll delve into the importance of cultivating resilience, embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, and finding joy in the pursuit of your purpose. By integrating the wisdom of Ikigai into your life, you unlock the potential for profound transformation. You'll develop a greater sense of self-awareness, clarity, and direction, enabling you to make choices that align with your true purpose. Whether it's pursuing a fulfilling career, nurturing meaningful relationships, or contributing positively to your community, Ikigai serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path to a life well-lived. So, as you embark on this transformative journey, approach it with curiosity, openness, and a willingness to explore the depths of your being. Trust in the process, knowing that discovering your Ikigai is a deeply personal and rewarding endeavor. With each step, you'll uncover the unique blend of passions, talents, and values that make you who you are, paving the way for a life filled with purpose, joy, and profound fulfillment. Let the wisdom of Ikigai be your guide as you navigate the exhilarating adventure of self-discovery and purposeful living. Embrace the journey, for it is through the exploration of your authentic self that you'll unlock the keys to a life that truly resonates with your soul. Get ready to embark on a transformative odyssey that will forever change the way you perceive and live your life. Chapter 2 The Four Pillars of Ikigai Passion, Mission, Vocation, and Profession Ikigai, the Japanese concept that encapsulates the essence of a fulfilling life, rests upon four foundational pillars, passion, mission, vocation, and profession. Understanding and aligning these elements is crucial to discovering your unique path to a meaningful existence. Let's explore each pillar in depth and uncover how they intertwine to create a life brimming with purpose and satisfaction. Passion lies at the heart of Ikigai, fueling the fire within us. It's the spark that ignites our enthusiasm and drives us to pursue what we love. When we engage in activities that genuinely excite and inspire us, we tap into a wellspring of energy and motivation. Passion is not merely a fleeting interest or a passing fancy. It's a deep-seated love for something that resonates with our core being. Identifying your true passions requires introspection and self-awareness. Ask yourself, what activities make time seem to disappear? What pursuits bring you genuine joy and fulfillment? By uncovering your passions, you lay the foundation for a life that feels authentic and purposeful. Mission, the second pillar of Ikigai, speaks to the greater purpose that guides our actions. It's the driving force that propels us to make a positive impact on the world around us. 
Your mission is the reason you get out of bed each morning, the higher calling that gives your life direction and meaning. It's the contribution you aspire to make, the legacy you wish to leave behind. Discovering your mission often involves looking beyond yourself and considering how your unique talents and passions can benefit others. What problems do you feel compelled to solve? What causes ignite a fire within you? By aligning your actions with a mission that resonates with your values, you infuse your life with a sense of significance and purpose. Vocation, the third pillar, represents the intersection of your skills, talents, and the needs of the world. It's the sweet spot where your abilities meet the demands of society, allowing you to make a meaningful contribution while deriving a sense of fulfillment. Your vocation is the work that you are naturally inclined towards, the tasks that you excel at and find inherently rewarding. It's the arena in which you can apply your strengths and expertise to create value for yourself and others. Identifying your vocation requires a keen understanding of your unique skill set and a willingness to explore how those skills can be applied in various contexts. By honing your craft and continuously developing your abilities, you position yourself to make a significant impact in your chosen field. Profession, the fourth pillar of Ikigai, encompasses the practical aspects of earning a living and sustaining yourself financially. It's the means by which you support yourself and your loved ones while pursuing your passions and mission. Your profession may or may not directly align with your vocation, but it plays a crucial role in providing the resources and stability necessary to live a fulfilling life. Finding a profession that aligns with your values, interests, and skills can greatly enhance your overall sense of satisfaction and well-being. It's important to strike a balance between financial security and personal fulfillment, ensuring that your work not only meets your practical needs, but also contributes to your overall sense of purpose. The true power of Ikigai lies in the synergy of these four pillars. When passion, mission, vocation, and profession converge, they create a potent force that propels you towards a life of meaning and fulfillment. It's the sweet spot where you find yourself eagerly anticipating each day, knowing that you are engaging in work that matters to you and makes a positive difference in the world. By actively cultivating and aligning these elements, you create a life that is rich, vibrant, and deeply satisfying. Discovering your ikigai is not a one-time event but an ongoing process of self-discovery and growth. It requires a willingness to explore your innermost desires, challenge your assumptions, and embrace change. It's a journey of trial and error, of learning from setbacks and celebrating successes. Along the way, you may encounter obstacles and moments of doubt, but by staying true to your passions, mission, vocation, and profession, you can navigate through the challenges and emerge stronger and more purposeful. To embark on this transformative journey, start by taking small, actionable steps. Reflect on your passions and what brings you genuine joy. Explore your values and consider how you can align your actions with a higher purpose. Identify your unique skills and talents and seek opportunities to apply them in meaningful ways. Evaluate your current profession and consider how it aligns with your overall sense of fulfillment. By consistently taking action and making conscious choices, you gradually shape a life that is in harmony with your ikigai. The path to discovering your ikigai is a deeply personal and rewarding one. It requires courage, introspection, and a willingness to embrace the unknown. But by staying true to yourself and actively cultivating the four pillars of passion, mission, vocation, and profession, you unlock the door to a life filled with purpose meaning, and profound satisfaction. So, take that first step, trust in the process, and allow the wisdom of Ikigai to guide you towards a life that truly resonates with your authentic self. Chapter 3. Understanding Your Values and Priorities Values and priorities form the bedrock of a meaningful life, serving as the guiding principles that shape our decisions, actions, and overall sense of purpose. They are the fundamental beliefs and ideals that we hold dear, reflecting what truly matters to us on a deep, personal level. Understanding and aligning our lives with our values and priorities is a crucial step in the process of discovering our ikigai and living a life that feels authentic and fulfilling. 
Values are the core beliefs that define who we are and what we stand for. They are the principles that we uphold, the standards by which we measure our actions and the actions of others. Our values are deeply ingrained within us, often shaped by our upbringing, life experiences, and the influences of our culture and society. Examples of common values include integrity, compassion, honesty, respect, and personal growth. When we live in accordance with our values, we experience a sense of congruence and inner peace, knowing that our actions are in harmony with our true selves. Priorities, on the other hand, are the areas of our lives that we deem most important and deserving of our time, energy, and attention. They are the aspects that we prioritize above others, the things that we are willing to make sacrifices for in order to pursue and cultivate. Our priorities are often a reflection of our values, as we naturally gravitate towards the things that align with what we hold dear. Examples of priorities might include family, health, career, personal development, or contributing to the community. When we focus our efforts on our priorities, we experience a sense of purpose and fulfillment, knowing that we are investing our resources in the things that truly matter to us. To understand your values and priorities, it's essential to engage in self-reflection and introspection. Take the time to explore your beliefs, desires, and what brings you a sense of meaning and satisfaction. Ask yourself questions such as, What principles do I hold most dear? What qualities do I admire in others and strive to embody myself? What aspects of my life bring me the greatest joy and fulfillment? By honestly examining your thoughts, feelings, and experiences, you can gain valuable insights into your core values and priorities. One practical exercise to help clarify your values is to create a personal values list. Start by brainstorming a comprehensive list of values that resonate with you such as honesty, creativity, kindness, or personal growth. Once you have a substantial list, begin to narrow it down to your top 5 or 10 values. Consider which values are truly non-negotiable for you, the ones that you would uphold even in the face of challenges or adversity. This process of prioritization helps you identify the values that are most central to your being and serve as the foundation for your life choices. Another effective way to understand your priorities is to examine how you currently allocate your time and energy. Take a step back and observe your daily routines, the activities you engage in, and the relationships you nurture. Are you spending your time in ways that align with what you claim to be your priorities? Are there areas of your life that you feel are being neglected or overshadowed by less important pursuits? By honestly assessing your current priorities, and making conscious adjustments, you can ensure that your actions are in alignment with your values and what truly matters to you. It's important to recognize that values and priorities are not fixed or static. They can evolve and change over time as we grow and experience new things. Life circumstances, personal growth, and shifting perspectives can all influence our values and priorities. Therefore, it's essential to regularly revisit and reassess our values and priorities, ensuring that they continue to resonate with our authentic selves and the life we wish to lead. Once you have a clear understanding of your values and priorities, the next step is to integrate them into your daily life. This means making conscious choices and taking actions that align with your values and priorities. It may require saying no to certain opportunities or commitments that don't serve your higher purpose, and saying yes to those that do. It may involve setting boundaries, advocating for yourself, and making tough decisions that honor your values, even when it's uncomfortable or challenging. Living in alignment with your values and priorities is not always easy, but it is immensely rewarding. When your actions and choices are congruent with your authentic self, you experience a deep sense of fulfillment and purpose. You feel energized, motivated, and inspired to pursue the things that truly matter to you. You develop a stronger sense of self-awareness and self-trust, knowing that you are living a life that is true to who you are and what you stand for. Understanding your values and priorities is a lifelong journey of self-discovery and growth. It requires ongoing reflection, introspection, 
and a willingness to adapt and evolve as you learn and experience new things. By consistently examining your beliefs, desires, and what brings you meaning and fulfillment, you can align your life with your authentic self and create a sense of purpose and direction. So, take the time to explore your values and priorities. Engage in self-reflection. Create a personal values list and observe how you currently allocate your time and energy. Make conscious choices and take actions that align with your authentic self and what truly matters to you. By living in accordance with your values and priorities, you lay the foundation for a life that is rich, meaningful, and deeply fulfilling a life that embodies the essence of your ikigai. Chapter 4. Identifying Your Passions and Interests Passions and interests are the driving forces that ignite our enthusiasm, bring us joy, and give our lives a sense of meaning and purpose. They are the pursuits that captivate our hearts and minds, the activities that we lose ourselves in, and the topics that spark our curiosity and desire to learn more. Identifying your passions and interests is a crucial step in the process of discovering your ikigai, as they provide the foundation for a life that feels authentic fulfilling, and deeply satisfying. Passions are the things that you are deeply enthusiastic about, the activities that you would engage in even if you weren't paid to do them. They are the pursuits that energize you, that make time seem to disappear when you're immersed in them. Passions can take many forms, such as a love for music, a fascination with science, a dedication to social justice, or a passion for cooking. When you're engaged in your passions, you experience a sense of flow, a state of being fully present and absorbed in the activity at hand. Interests, on the other hand, are the topics and activities that pique your curiosity and capture your attention. They are the subjects that you enjoy learning about, the hobbies that you find engaging, and the pursuits that you're drawn to explore further. Interests can range from a love of travel and experiencing new cultures to a fascination with history to an enjoyment of gardening or woodworking. When you're exploring your interests, you feel a sense of excitement and a desire to discover more. To identify your passions and interests, it's important to pay attention to the activities and pursuits that naturally draw you in and bring you a sense of joy and fulfillment. One practical exercise is to reflect on the moments in your life when you felt most alive, engaged, and in flow. What were you doing during those times? What qualities or characteristics of those activities resonated with you? By examining your peak experiences and the common threads that run through them, you can gain valuable insights into your true passions and interests. Another effective way to uncover your passions and interests is to explore new experiences and step outside of your comfort zone. Try new hobbies, take classes and subjects that intrigue you, attend events and workshops that align with your curiosities. By exposing yourself to a wide range of activities and pursuits, you give yourself the opportunity to discover new passions and interests that you may not have been aware of before. Keep an open mind and be willing to experiment, even if something seems unfamiliar or challenging at first. It's also important to pay attention to the topics and activities that you naturally gravitate towards in your free time. What do you find yourself reading about, watching videos on? or engaging in conversations about? What are the subjects that you can't seem to get enough of, the ones that you're always eager to learn more about? By observing your natural inclinations and the things that capture your attention, you can identify the passions and interests that are already present in your life. Once you've identified your passions and interests, the next step is to explore ways to integrate them into your daily life and align them with your overall sense of purpose. This may involve finding ways to incorporate your passions into your work or career, dedicating time to pursuing your interests outside of work, or seeking out communities and organizations that share your enthusiasm for a particular subject or activity. By actively cultivating your passions and interests, you create a life that feels rich, vibrant, and deeply fulfilling. It's important to recognize that passions and interests can evolve and change over time. What may have captivated you in the past may not hold the same appeal in the present, and new passions and interests may emerge as you grow and experience new things. 
Therefore, it's essential to remain open to exploring new pursuits and to regularly reassess what truly brings you joy and fulfillment. By staying connected to your authentic self and being willing to adapt and evolve, you can ensure that your passions and interests continue to enrich your life and guide you towards your ikigai. Identifying your passions and interests is a process of self-discovery and exploration. It requires a willingness to be curious, to step outside of your comfort zone, and to pay attention to the activities and pursuits that naturally energize and inspire you. By actively cultivating your passions and interests and aligning them with your overall sense of purpose, you create a life that feels authentic, meaningful, and deeply satisfying. So, take the time to reflect on the moments when you felt most alive and engaged. Explore new experiences and step outside of your comfort zone. And observe the topics and activities that naturally capture your attention. By identifying and nurturing your passions and interests, you lay the foundation for a life that embodies the essence of your ikigai, a life that is rich, fulfilling, and deeply connected to your authentic self. Chapter 5. Exploring Your Skills and Talents Skills and talents are the unique abilities and aptitudes that we possess, the areas in which we naturally excel and find a sense of ease and proficiency. They are the capabilities that we have developed through practice, training, and experience as well as the innate strengths that we were born with. Exploring your skills and talents is an essential step in the process of discovering your ikigai, as they provide the foundation for a life that feels authentic, purposeful, and deeply fulfilling. Skills are the learned abilities that we acquire through education, training, and hands-on experience. They are the practical competencies that enable us to perform specific tasks and activities with proficiency and expertise. Skills can range from technical abilities, such as programming or graphic design, to interpersonal skills, such as communication and leadership. When we engage in activities that utilize our skills, we experience a sense of mastery and confidence, knowing that we have the tools and knowledge to tackle challenges and achieve our goals. Talents, on the other hand, are the natural abilities and aptitudes that we are born with, the innate strengths that come naturally to us. They are the areas in which we have a natural inclination and find a sense of ease and flow. Talents can manifest in various forms, such as a natural ability to connect with others, a keen eye for detail, or a gift for creative expression. When we tap into our talents, we experience a sense of alignment and purpose, as if we are doing exactly what we were meant to do. To explore your skills and talents, Start by reflecting on the activities and pursuits that you find most enjoyable and rewarding. What are the tasks that you lose yourself in, the ones that make time fly by and leave you feeling energized and fulfilled? These are often the activities that align with your natural strengths and abilities. Pay attention to the moments when you feel a sense of flow and ease, as if you are in your element and operating at your best. One practical exercise to uncover your skills and talents is to seek feedback from others. Ask your friends, family, and colleagues what they perceive as your strengths and the areas in which you excel. Often, others can provide valuable insights and perspectives that we may overlook or take for granted. Be open to receiving feedback and consider how it aligns with your own self-perception and experiences. Another effective way to explore your skills and talents is to try new things and step outside of your comfort zone. Engage in a variety of activities and pursuits, even if they seem unfamiliar or challenging at first. By exposing yourself to new experiences, you give yourself the opportunity to discover hidden talents and abilities that you may not have been aware of before. Keep an open mind and be willing to experiment as you never know where your skills and talents may lead you. It's also important to recognize that skills and talents can be developed and refined over time. While some abilities may come naturally to us, others require practice, dedication, and a willingness to learn and grow. Identify the skills and talents that you wish to cultivate and seek out opportunities to develop them further. This may involve taking classes, seeking mentorship, or dedicating time to deliberate practice. By actively nurturing your skills and talents, 
you create a sense of mastery and purpose that can greatly enhance your overall sense of fulfillment and well-being. Once you have a clearer understanding of your skills and talents, the next step is to explore ways to align them with your passions, values, and overall sense of purpose. Consider how you can leverage your unique abilities to make a meaningful contribution to the world around you. This may involve pursuing a career that utilizes your skills and talents, volunteering for causes that resonate with your values, or finding ways to incorporate your strengths into your personal projects and hobbies. When you align your skills and talents with your passions and purpose, you create a life that feels authentic, meaningful, and deeply fulfilling. It's important to approach the exploration of your skills and talents with a growth mindset, recognizing that abilities can be developed and expanded over time. Embrace challenges as opportunities for learning and growth, and be willing to step outside of your comfort zone to discover new strengths and capabilities. By consistently pushing yourself to learn and grow, you create a sense of forward momentum and personal development that can greatly enhance your overall sense of fulfillment and well-being. Exploring your skills and talents is a lifelong journey of self-discovery and growth. It requires a willingness to be curious, to experiment, and to seek out new experiences and opportunities for learning. By actively cultivating your unique abilities and aligning them with your passions and purpose, you create a life that feels authentic, meaningful, and deeply connected to your authentic self. So, take the time to reflect on the activities and pursuits that bring you joy and fulfillment, seek feedback from others, and be willing to try new things and step outside of your comfort zone. Actively nurture your skills and talents, and explore ways to align them with your passions and overall sense of purpose. When you tap into your unique strengths and abilities and leverage them in service of something greater than yourself, you unlock the key to a life that embodies the essence of your ikigai, a life that is rich, purposeful, and deeply fulfilling. Chapter 6 Recognizing Your Unique Gifts and Strengths Gifts and strengths are the inherent qualities and abilities that set you apart, the unique combination of talents, traits, and characteristics that make you who you are. They are the aspects of yourself that come naturally to you, the areas in which you excel effortlessly and find a sense of joy and fulfillment. Recognizing your unique gifts and strengths is a crucial step in the process of discovering your ikigai as they provide the foundation for a life that feels authentic, purposeful, and deeply aligned with your true self. Gifts are the innate abilities and talents that you were born with, the natural inclinations and aptitudes that have been a part of you since the beginning. They are the things that you do with ease and grace, the activities that you lose yourself in and find a sense of flow and enjoyment. Gifts can manifest in various forms, such as a natural ability to connect with others, a keen eye for beauty and aesthetics, or a gift for problem-solving and creative thinking. When you tap into your gifts, you experience a sense of alignment and purpose, as if you are doing exactly what you were meant to do. Strengths, on the other hand, are the qualities and traits that you have developed over time, the areas in which you have consistently excelled and found success. They are the aspects of yourself that you have honed through practice, experience, and dedication. Strengths can include qualities such as resilience, adaptability, empathy, or leadership. When you leverage your strengths, you experience a sense of confidence and competence, knowing that you have the tools and abilities to tackle challenges and achieve your goals. To recognize your unique gifts and strengths, start by paying attention to the activities and pursuits that come naturally to you and bring you a sense of joy and fulfillment. What are the things that you do with ease and grace, the ones that make you lose track of time and leave you feeling energized and inspired? These are often the areas in which your gifts and strengths lie. Trust your instincts and pay attention to the moments when you feel most alive and authentic. One practical exercise to uncover your gifts and strengths is to reflect on your past experiences and accomplishments. Think about the times in your life when you have excelled and found success the moments when you have felt most proud and fulfilled. What qualities and abilities did you bring to those situations? What strengths did you leverage to overcome challenges and achieve your goals? 
by examining your past successes and the common threads that run through them. You can gain valuable insights into your unique gifts and strengths. Another effective way to recognize your gifts and strengths is to seek feedback from others. Ask your friends, family, and colleagues what they perceive as your unique qualities and abilities. Often, others can provide valuable perspectives and insights that we may overlook or take for granted. Be open to receiving feedback and consider how it aligns with your own self-perception and experiences. You may be surprised to discover gifts and strengths that you never knew you had. It's important to approach the recognition of your gifts and strengths with a sense of curiosity and openness. Sometimes, our unique qualities and abilities may not fit neatly into conventional categories or expectations. Be willing to explore and embrace the aspects of yourself that make you different and unique. Your gifts and strengths are what set you apart and make you special, and they are an essential part of your authentic self. Once you have a clearer understanding of your gifts and strengths, the next step is to explore ways to leverage them in service of your passions, values, and overall sense of purpose. Consider how you can use your unique qualities and abilities to make a meaningful contribution to the world around you. This may involve pursuing a career that aligns with your gifts and strengths, volunteering for causes that resonate with your values, or finding ways to incorporate your unique abilities into your personal projects and hobbies. When you align your gifts and strengths with your passions and purpose, you create a life that feels authentic, meaningful, and deeply fulfilling. It's important to recognize that gifts and strengths are not fixed or static. They can evolve and expand over time as you grow and experience new things. Be open to exploring new aspects of yourself and discovering hidden talents and abilities that you may not have been aware of before. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and development, and be willing to step outside of your comfort zone to discover new strengths and capabilities. Recognizing your unique gifts and strengths is a lifelong journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It requires a willingness to be curious, to explore, and to embrace the aspects of yourself that make you different and special. By actively cultivating your gifts and strengths, and aligning them with your passions and purpose, you create a life that feels authentic, meaningful, and deeply connected to your true self. So, take the time to reflect on the activities and pursuits that bring you joy and fulfillment, seek feedback from others, and be open to exploring new aspects of yourself. Leverage your unique qualities and abilities in service of something greater than yourself, and trust in the power of your gifts and strengths to guide you towards a life that embodies the essence of your ikigai, a life that is rich, purposeful, and deeply aligned with your authentic self. Chapter 7. Discovering Your Life's Mission and Purpose Mission and purpose are the driving forces that give your life meaning, direction, and a sense of fulfillment. They are the reasons why you wake up every morning, the causes that ignite your passion, and inspire you to make a positive impact on the world around you. Discovering your life's mission and purpose is a crucial step in the process of finding your ikigai, as it provides the foundation for a life that feels authentic, purposeful, and deeply aligned with your values and aspirations. Your mission is the overarching goal or objective that you strive to achieve, the guiding principle that shapes your actions and decisions. It is the difference you wish to make in the world, the legacy you want to leave behind, your mission is deeply personal and unique to you, reflecting your values, beliefs, and the experiences that have shaped your life. It is the thread that ties together your passions, skills, and strengths, giving them a sense of purpose and direction. Purpose, on the other hand, is the underlying reason or motivation behind your mission. It is the deeper meaning and significance that you attach to your life and work, the sense of fulfillment and satisfaction that comes from pursuing something greater than yourself. Purpose is the fuel that drives you forward, the inner compass that guides you towards a life of meaning and impact. It is the answer to the question, why do I exist? To discover your life's mission and purpose, start by reflecting on the experiences and moments that have had the greatest impact on your life. What are the events, challenges, or triumphs that have shaped your values and beliefs? 
What are the causes or issues that ignite your passion and stir your soul? These are often the clues that point towards your mission and purpose. Pay attention to the moments when you feel most alive, engaged, and connected to something greater than yourself. One practical exercise to uncover your mission and purpose is to explore your values and beliefs. What are the principles and ideals that you hold most dear? What are the qualities and characteristics that you admire in others and strive to embody in your own life? By clarifying your values and beliefs, you gain a clearer sense of what matters most to you and what you stand for. This understanding can serve as a guidepost in discovering your mission and purpose. Another effective way to discover your mission and purpose is to ask yourself powerful questions that probe the depths of your being. Questions such as, What breaks my heart about the world? Or, What would I do if I knew I could not fail? can help you tap into your deepest desires and aspirations. Allow yourself to dream big and imagine a world in which your unique gifts and strengths are fully expressed and making a positive impact. It's important to approach the discovery of your mission and purpose with a sense of openness and curiosity. Sometimes, our true calling may not be immediately apparent or may evolve over time as we grow and change. Be willing to explore different possibilities and take inspired action towards the things that resonate with your heart and soul. Trust that your mission and purpose will reveal themselves to you as you stay true to your authentic self and pursue the things that bring you joy and fulfillment. Once you have a clearer sense of your mission and purpose, the next step is to align your actions and choices with them. This may involve making changes in your life, such as pursuing a new career path, volunteering for causes that align with your values, or starting a personal project that allows you to express your unique gifts and strengths. It may also involve letting go of activities or commitments that no longer serve your higher purpose, creating space for the things that truly matter. Discovering your life's mission and purpose is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process of self-discovery and growth. As you evolve and change, so too may your mission and purpose. Be open to the possibility that your calling may shift and expand over time, leading you towards new opportunities and experiences that align with your deepest desires and aspirations. It's also important to recognize that pursuing your mission and purpose is not always easy. There may be challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt along the way. But by staying true to your authentic self and trusting in the power of your unique gifts and strengths, you can overcome any obstacle and create a life that feels deeply meaningful and fulfilling. Discovering your life's mission and purpose is a transformative journey that requires courage, introspection, and a willingness to take inspired action. It is a process of uncovering the unique contribution that you are meant to make in the world, the difference that only you can make. By aligning your actions and choices with your mission and purpose, you create a life that feels authentic purposeful, and deeply connected to your true self. So, take the time to reflect on the experiences and moments that have shaped your life, explore your values and beliefs, and ask yourself powerful questions that probe the depths of your being. Trust in the power of your unique gifts and strengths to guide you towards a life that embodies the essence of your ikigai, a life that is rich, meaningful, and deeply aligned with your highest purpose. Chapter 8 Aligning your passions with your purpose. Passions and purpose are two powerful forces that, when aligned, create a life of deep meaning, fulfillment, and joy. Your passions are the things that ignite your soul, the activities and pursuits that bring you alive and make you feel most like yourself. Your purpose, on the other hand, is the overarching reason for your existence, the unique contribution that you are meant to make in the world. When you align your passions with your purpose, you create a life that feels authentic, purposeful, and deeply satisfying. Aligning your passions with your purpose requires a deep understanding of both. It involves taking the time to explore what truly matters to you, what brings you joy and fulfillment, and what unique gifts and strengths you possess. It also involves clarifying your values and beliefs, and identifying the causes and issues that ignite your passion and inspire you to make a difference. One practical way to begin aligning your passions with your purpose 
is to create a passion inventory. This involves making a list of all the activities, pursuits, and experiences that bring you joy, excitement, and a sense of flow. These can be anything from hobbies and interests to work-related projects and experiences. As you create your passion inventory, pay attention to the common themes and patterns that emerge. What qualities or characteristics do these passions share? What values or beliefs do they reflect? Next, take some time to reflect on your unique gifts and strengths. What are the things that come naturally to you, the abilities and talents that you possess? What do others often recognize and appreciate about you? These gifts and strengths are clues to your purpose, the unique contribution that you are meant to make in the world. Once you have a clear understanding of your passions and your unique gifts and strengths, the next step is to explore how you can align them with your purpose. This involves looking for ways to use your passions and strengths in service of something greater than yourself, something that aligns with your values and beliefs and makes a positive impact on the world. One way to do this is to look for opportunities to volunteer or get involved with causes and organizations that align with your passions and purpose. This can be a great way to gain experience, build skills, and make a difference in the world, while also exploring how your unique gifts and strengths can be used in service of something greater. Another way to align your passions with your purpose is to look for ways to incorporate them into your work or career. This may involve pursuing a new career path that aligns with your values and beliefs or finding ways to use your passions and strengths within your current role. It may also involve starting a side project or business that allows you to express your unique gifts and make a positive impact on the world. Aligning your passions with your purpose is not always easy, and it may require making some difficult choices and changes in your life. It may involve letting go of activities or commitments that no longer serve your higher purpose, or taking risks and stepping outside of your comfort zone. But the rewards of living a life that is aligned with your passions and purpose are immeasurable. When you align your passions with your purpose, you experience a deep sense of meaning and fulfillment that goes beyond mere happiness or success. You feel a sense of connection to something greater than yourself, a sense of being part of something important and meaningful. You also experience a sense of flow and ease, as if you are doing exactly what you were meant to do. Aligning your passions with your purpose is an ongoing process, one that requires regular reflection, adjustment, and growth. As you evolve and change, so too may your passions and purpose. It's important to stay open to new possibilities and opportunities, and to trust that your unique gifts and strengths will continue to guide you towards a life that feels authentic and purposeful. One practical way to stay connected to your passions and purpose is to create a daily or weekly practice of reflection and intention setting. This can involve taking a few minutes each day to journal about your experiences, thoughts, and feelings, and to set intentions for how you want to show up in the world. It can also involve regularly reviewing your passion inventory and your unique gifts and strengths, and looking for ways to align them with your higher purpose. Aligning your passions with your purpose is a powerful way to create a life that feels authentic, meaningful, and deeply satisfying. It involves taking the time to understand what truly matters to you, what brings you joy and fulfillment, and what unique gifts and strengths you possess. It also involves looking for ways to use your passions and strengths in service of something greater than yourself, something that aligns with your values and beliefs and makes a positive impact on the world. So, take the time to create your passion inventory. Reflect on your unique gifts and strengths and explore how you can align them with your higher purpose. Trust that by living a life that is aligned with your passions and purpose, you will experience a deep sense of meaning, fulfillment, and joy that goes beyond mere happiness or success. You will feel a sense of connection to something greater than yourself, a sense of being part of something important and meaningful, and you will experience a sense of flow and ease, as if you are doing exactly what you were meant to do. Chapter 9. Cultivating a Growth Mindset for Personal Development A growth mindset is a powerful tool for personal development 
and discovering your ikigai. It is the belief that your abilities, intelligence, and talents can be developed and improved through dedication, hard work, and a willingness to learn from challenges and setbacks. When you cultivate a growth mindset, you open yourself up to new possibilities, opportunities, and experiences that can help you grow and evolve as a person. The concept of a growth mindset was popularized by psychologist Carol Dweck, who found that people with a growth mindset tend to achieve more than those with a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset is the belief that your abilities and talents are innate and cannot be significantly changed or improved. People with a fixed mindset often avoid challenges and give up easily when faced with obstacles, believing that their abilities are fixed and cannot be improved. In contrast, people with a growth mindset embrace challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. They see failures and setbacks as valuable feedback that can help them improve and develop their skills and abilities. They are more likely to persist in the face of obstacles and to seek out new learning opportunities and experiences. Cultivating a growth mindset requires a shift in your beliefs and attitudes about your abilities and potential. It involves recognizing that your brain is like a muscle that can be strengthened and developed through practice and effort. It also involves reframing challenges and setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as threats to your self-worth or abilities. One practical way to cultivate a growth mindset is to focus on the process of learning and growth, rather than on the outcome or result. This means setting goals that are focused on developing your skills and abilities, rather than on achieving a specific outcome or result. For example, Instead of setting a goal to get a promotion at work, set a goal to develop a new skill or take on a challenging project that will help you grow and develop as a professional. Another way to cultivate a growth mindset is to embrace challenges and seek out new learning opportunities. This may involve taking on a new project or responsibility at work, enrolling in a course or workshop to develop a new skill or seeking out feedback and mentorship from others who have expertise in your field. When you actively seek out challenges and learning opportunities, you signal to yourself and others that you are committed to growth and development. It is also important to reframe failures and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. When you experience a setback or failure, take the time to reflect on what you can learn from the experience. What worked well? What could you have done differently? What skills or knowledge do you need to develop to be more successful in the future? By approaching failures and setbacks with a growth mindset, you can turn them into valuable learning experiences that help you grow and develop as a person. Cultivating a growth mindset also involves developing a sense of self-compassion and self-acceptance. It is important to recognize that everyone makes mistakes and experiences setbacks and failures. When you experience a setback or failure, Treat yourself with kindness and understanding, rather than with harsh self-criticism or judgment. Recognize that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the learning and growth process, and that they do not define your worth or abilities as a person. One practical way to develop self-compassion and self-acceptance is to practice positive self-talk. When you experience a setback or failure, instead of telling yourself that you are a failure, or that you will never succeed, tell yourself that you are learning and growing, and that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the process. Use positive affirmations to remind yourself of your strengths and abilities, and to encourage yourself to keep pushing forward. Cultivating a growth mindset is an ongoing process that requires consistent effort and practice. It involves shifting your beliefs and attitudes about your abilities and potential, Embracing challenges and learning opportunities, reframing failures and setbacks as opportunities for growth, and developing a sense of self-compassion and self-acceptance. The benefits of cultivating a growth mindset are numerous. When you approach life with a growth mindset, you are more likely to take on new challenges and opportunities, to persist in the face of obstacles and setbacks and to develop new skills and abilities that can help you achieve your goals and discover your ikigai. You are also more likely to experience a sense of personal fulfillment and satisfaction, 
knowing that you are actively working to grow and develop as a person. Cultivating a growth mindset is a powerful tool for personal development and discovering your ikigai. It involves shifting your beliefs and attitudes about your abilities and potential, embracing challenges and learning opportunities, reframing failures and setbacks as opportunities for growth, and developing a sense of self-compassion and self-acceptance. When you approach life with a growth mindset, you open yourself up to new possibilities, opportunities, and experiences that can help you grow and evolve as a person, and ultimately lead you to a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment. Chapter 10. Overcoming Fear and Self-Doubt on Your Ikigai Journey Fear and self-doubt are common obstacles that many people face on their ikigai journey. These feelings can hold you back from pursuing your passions, exploring new opportunities, and taking the necessary steps to discover your purpose in life. However, with the right mindset and strategies, you can learn to overcome these obstacles and move forward with confidence and courage. One of the first steps in overcoming fear and self-doubt is to acknowledge and accept these feelings. It's important to recognize that fear and self-doubt are normal human emotions that everyone experiences at some point in their lives. Rather than trying to suppress or ignore these feelings, take the time to explore and understand them. What are you afraid of? What is causing you to doubt yourself? By bringing awareness to these feelings, you can begin to develop strategies to address them. One effective strategy for overcoming fear is to reframe your perspective. Often, fear arises from a perceived threat or danger, whether real or imagined. However, by changing the way you think about the situation, you can reduce the power that fear holds over you. For example, instead of focusing on the potential negative outcomes of taking a risk, try to focus on the potential positive outcomes. What opportunities or experiences might you gain by facing your fear? By shifting your perspective, you can begin to see fear as an opportunity for growth and learning, rather than as a barrier to success. Another strategy for overcoming fear is to take small, manageable steps towards your goals. When you're faced with a daunting task or challenge, it can be easy to feel overwhelmed and paralyzed by fear. However, by breaking the task down into smaller, more manageable steps, you can build momentum and confidence over time. Start by setting small, achievable goals for yourself and celebrate your progress along the way. As you build momentum and experience small successes, you'll begin to feel more confident and capable of tackling bigger challenges. Self-doubt, on the other hand, often stems from a lack of confidence in your own abilities and potential. To overcome self-doubt, it's important to cultivate a strong sense of self-belief and self-worth. This means recognizing and celebrating your strengths, skills, and accomplishments and reminding yourself of the value and unique perspective that you bring to the world. One practical way to build self-belief is to surround yourself with supportive and encouraging people. Seek out mentors, friends, and colleagues who believe in you and your potential, and who can offer guidance and support along your ikigai journey. When you're feeling doubtful or uncertain, reach out to these people for encouragement and advice. Their belief in you can help to bolster your own self-belief and give you the confidence to keep moving forward. Another way to build self-belief is to practice self-compassion. When you're struggling with self-doubt, it's easy to be hard on yourself and engage in negative self-talk. However, by treating yourself with kindness and understanding, you can begin to develop a more positive and supportive inner dialogue. When you notice self-doubt creeping in, Take a moment to acknowledge and validate your feelings, and then offer yourself words of encouragement and support. Remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes and experiences setbacks, and that these experiences are opportunities for growth and learning. In addition to cultivating self-belief, it's also important to develop a growth mindset when it comes to overcoming self-doubt. A growth mindset is the belief that your abilities and potential can be developed and improved through hard work, dedication, and a willingness to learn from challenges and setbacks. When you approach your ikigai journey with a growth mindset, you're more likely to view obstacles and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth, 
rather than as threats to your self-worth or abilities. One practical way to develop a growth mindset is to reframe failures and setbacks as learning opportunities. When you experience a setback or failure, take the time to reflect on what you can learn from the experience. What worked well? What could you have done differently? What skills or knowledge do you need to develop to be more successful in the future? By approaching failures and setbacks with a growth mindset, you can turn them into valuable learning experiences that help you grow and develop as a person. Overcoming fear and self-doubt on your Ikigai journey requires a combination of self-awareness, self-compassion, and a willingness to take action despite your fears. It involves acknowledging and accepting your feelings of fear and self-doubt, reframing your perspective, taking small manageable steps towards your goals, cultivating self-belief and self-worth, and developing a growth mindset. The journey to discovering your Ikigai is not always easy, and it's natural to experience fear and self-doubt along the way. However, by developing the tools and strategies to overcome these obstacles, you can continue to move forward with confidence and courage. Remember that every challenge and setback is an opportunity for growth and learning, and that by persevering through difficult times, you'll develop the resilience and strength needed to achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life. With patience, persistence, and a commitment to personal growth, you can overcome fear and self-doubt and unlock your full potential on your Ikigai journey. Chapter 11 The Power of Mindfulness and Self-Reflection Mindfulness and self-reflection are essential tools for discovering your Ikigai and living a fulfilling life. These practices help you develop a deeper understanding of yourself, your values, and your purpose, and can guide you towards making meaningful choices and taking purposeful action. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and aware in the current moment, without judgment or distraction. It involves observing your thoughts, feelings, and sensations with curiosity and acceptance, rather than getting caught up in them or trying to change them. When you practice mindfulness, you cultivate a sense of calm, clarity, and focus that can help you navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life with greater ease and resilience. One of the key benefits of mindfulness is that it helps you develop a greater sense of self-awareness. By paying attention to your inner experiences, you can begin to notice patterns and habits that may be holding you back or limiting your potential. For example, you may notice that you tend to get easily distracted or overwhelmed when working on important projects, or that you have a tendency to procrastinate or avoid difficult tasks. By bringing awareness to these patterns, you can begin to develop strategies to address them and make positive changes in your life. Mindfulness also helps you cultivate a sense of presence and engagement in your daily life. When you're fully present in the moment, you're more likely to appreciate the small joys and pleasures that often go unnoticed when you're distracted or rushing through your day. You may find that you enjoy your meals more, notice the beauty in nature, or feel more connected to the people around you. This sense of presence and engagement can help you feel more fulfilled and satisfied with your life, even in the midst of challenges or setbacks. To practice mindfulness, start by setting aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. Notice the sensations of the air moving in and out of your body, and allow yourself to be fully present in the moment. If your mind starts to wander, gently bring your attention back to your breath without judgment or frustration. Over time, you can gradually increase the length of your mindfulness practice and incorporate it into other areas of your life, such as eating, walking, or engaging in creative activities. Self-reflection, on the other hand, is the practice of examining your thoughts, feeling, and experiences in order to gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your life. It involves taking time to step back from the busyness of daily life and reflect on your values, goals, and aspirations. By engaging in regular self-reflection, you can gain clarity and insight into what truly matters to you and what steps you need to take to live a more authentic and purposeful life. One effective way to practice self-reflection is through journaling. Set aside time each day or week to write down your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. You can use prompts or questions to guide your reflections 
such as, what brought me joy today? Or, what challenges am I currently facing? And how can I approach them with a growth mindset? As you write, allow yourself to be honest and vulnerable, without judgment or censorship. Over time, you may begin to notice patterns or themes in your reflections that can provide valuable insights into your values, strengths, and areas for growth. Another powerful tool for self-reflection is meditation. Like mindfulness, meditation involves focusing your attention on the present moment and observing your thoughts and feelings with curiosity and acceptance. However, meditation can also involve setting an intention or asking a question that you want to reflect on, such as, what is my purpose in life? Or, how can I cultivate more compassion and kindness in my relationships? As you meditate, allow your mind to explore these questions without trying to force an answer. Trust that the insights and clarity you need will emerge in their own time. Incorporating mindfulness and self-reflection into your daily life can have a profound impact on your personal growth and well-being. These practices can help you develop a greater sense of self-awareness, presence, and purpose, and can guide you towards making choices and taking actions that align with your deepest values and aspirations. However, it's important to approach mindfulness and self-reflection with patience and self-compassion. These practices are not about achieving perfection or fixing everything that's wrong with you. Rather, they're about developing a deeper understanding and acceptance of yourself, with all your strengths and imperfections. Be kind and gentle with yourself as you explore your inner world, and trust that the insights and clarity you need will emerge in their own time. Mindfulness and self-reflection are powerful tools for discovering your ikigai and living a fulfilling life. By cultivating a sense of presence, self-awareness, and purpose, you can navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life with greater ease and resilience, and make choices that align with your deepest values and aspirations. Start by incorporating small moments of mindfulness and self-reflection into your daily life, and trust that these practices will guide you towards a deeper understanding of yourself and your place in the world. Chapter 12. Embracing Imperfection and learning from failure. Embracing imperfection and learning from failure are essential aspects of discovering your ikigai and living a fulfilling life. Many people struggle with the idea of imperfection and failure, seeing them as signs of weakness or inadequacy. However, the truth is that imperfection and failure are inevitable parts of the human experience, and they can be powerful opportunities for growth, learning, and self discovery. When you embrace imperfection, you accept that you are a work in progress, with strengths and weaknesses, successes and failures. You recognize that perfection is an impossible standard, and that striving for it can often lead to anxiety, stress, and self-doubt. Instead, you focus on doing your best, learning from your mistakes, and celebrating your progress and growth. One way to embrace imperfection is to practice self-compassion. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness, understanding, and acceptance, even in the face of challenges or setbacks. It means recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and experiences failures, and that these experiences do not define your worth or value as a person. When you practice self-compassion, you are more likely to bounce back from setbacks and continue pursuing your goals with resilience and determination. Another way to embrace imperfection is to reframe your mindset around failure. Instead of seeing failure as a sign of inadequacy or incompetence, try to see it as a valuable opportunity for learning and growth. When you experience a failure or setback, take the time to reflect on what you can learn from the experience. What worked well? What could you have done differently? What skills or knowledge do you need to develop to be more successful in the future? Embracing imperfection and learning from failure also requires a willingness to take risks and step outside your comfort zone. When you're afraid of failure or imperfection, it's easy to play it safe and avoid taking chances. However, this can also limit your potential for growth and self-discovery. By embracing imperfection and being willing to take risks, you open yourself up to new opportunities and experiences that can help you discover your passions, strength, and purpose. 
One practical way to embrace imperfection and learn from failure is to set realistic goals and expectations for yourself. Instead of setting perfectionistic standards that are impossible to meet, focus on setting achievable goals that challenge you to grow and develop. Celebrate your progress and successes along the way, and be willing to adjust your goals as needed based on your experiences and learning. Another practical strategy is to seek out feedback and support from others. When you're working towards a goal or pursuing a passion, it can be helpful to have a support system of friends, family, mentors, or colleagues who can offer guidance, encouragement, and constructive feedback. Be open to receiving feedback and using it to identify areas for growth and improvement. It's also important to cultivate a growth mindset when it comes to embracing imperfection and learning from failure. A growth mindset is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work, dedication, and learning from challenges and setbacks. When you approach imperfection and failure with a growth mindset, you are more likely to view them as opportunities for learning and development, rather than as threats to your self-worth or competence. Embracing imperfection and learning from failure can be challenging, especially if you have a history of perfectionism or fear of failure. However, with practice and persistence, you can develop the skills and mindset needed to navigate these challenges with greater ease and resilience. Start by setting small, achievable goals for yourself and celebrating your progress along the way. Practice self-compassion and reframe your mindset around failure as an opportunity for learning and growth. Seek out feedback and support from others and cultivate a growth mindset that embraces challenges and setbacks as opportunities for development. Embracing imperfection and learning from failure are essential parts of the Ikigai journey. They require a willingness to be vulnerable, take risks, and learn from challenges and setbacks. However, by embracing these experiences with self-compassion, a growth mindset, and a willingness to learn and grow, you can develop the resilience, self-awareness, and sense of purpose needed to discover your ikigai and live a fulfilling life. Remember that imperfection and failure are not obstacles to be avoided, but opportunities to be embraced on the path to personal growth and self-discovery. Chapter 13. Building Resilience and Perseverance in Pursuit of Your Ikigai Building resilience and perseverance are crucial qualities for anyone seeking to discover their ikigai and live a fulfilling life. The path to finding your purpose and passion is rarely straightforward, and it often involves facing challenges, setbacks, and obstacles along the way. However, by developing resilience and perseverance, you can navigate these challenges with greater ease and maintain your motivation and commitment to your goals. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity, adapt to change, and maintain a positive outlook in the face of challenges. It involves developing a sense of inner strength, flexibility, and adaptability that allows you to weather the storms of life and emerge stronger and more confident on the other side. When you're resilient, you're able to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as insurmountable obstacles. One way to build resilience is to cultivate a strong sense of self-awareness and self-compassion. This means taking the time to understand your thoughts, feeling, and reactions to challenges, and treating yourself with kindness and understanding when things don't go as planned. It also means recognizing that setbacks and failures are a natural part of the learning process, and that they don't define your worth or value as a person. Another way to build resilience is to develop a support system of people who can offer encouragement, guidance, and perspective when you're facing challenges. This might include friends, family members, mentors, or colleagues who share your values and goals, and who can provide a listening ear and practical advice when you need it. Building strong relationships with others can help you feel more connected, supported, and resilient in the face of adversity. Perseverance, on the other hand, is the ability to persist in the face of obstacles and setbacks, and to maintain your commitment to your goals even when the going gets tough. It involves developing a sense of grit, determination, and discipline that allows you to push through challenges and keep moving forward, even when progress is slow or difficult. 
One way to cultivate perseverance is to break your goals down into smaller, more manageable steps and to celebrate your progress along the way. This can help you maintain your motivation and momentum, even when the end goal seems far away. It can also help you develop a sense of mastery and competence as you tackle each step, which can boost your confidence and resilience. Another way to cultivate perseverance is to develop a growth mindset, which is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work, dedication, and learning from challenges and setbacks. When you approach challenges with a growth mindset, you're more likely to see them as opportunities for learning and development, rather than as threats to your self-worth or competence. Building resilience and perseverance also requires a willingness to take risks and step outside your comfort zone. This might mean trying new things, exploring new ideas, or taking on challenges that push you to grow and develop in new ways. While this can be scary and uncomfortable at times, it's also an essential part of the Ikigai journey, as it allows you to discover new passions, strengths, and opportunities that you might not have otherwise encountered. It's important to remember that building resilience and perseverance is an ongoing process, and that it's normal to have ups and downs along the way. There will be times when you feel strong, confident, and motivated, and other times when you feel discouraged, overwhelmed, or uncertain. The key is to keep moving forward, even when progress is slow or difficult, and to trust in your ability to navigate challenges and setbacks with grace and determination. One practical way to build resilience and perseverance is to develop a daily practice of self-care and self-reflection. This might involve setting aside time each day for activities that nourish your mind, body, and spirit, such as exercise, meditation, journaling, or creative pursuits. It might also involve reflecting on your experiences and learning, and identifying areas for growth and improvement. Building resilience and perseverance is an essential part of the Ikigai journey, and it requires a willingness to embrace challenges, take risks, and persist in the face of obstacles and setbacks. By cultivating a strong sense of self-awareness, self-compassion, and growth mindset, and by developing a support system of people who share your values and goals, you can navigate the ups and downs of the journey with greater ease and maintain your commitment to your purpose and passion. The path to discovering your ikigai is rarely easy, but it is always worth it. By building resilience and perseverance, you can develop the inner strength, flexibility, and determination needed to weather the storms of life and emerge stronger, more confident, and more purposeful on the other side. Trust in your ability to navigate challenges and setbacks with grace and grit, and know that each step of the journey is an opportunity for growth, learning, and self-discovery. Chapter 14 The Role of Relationships and Community in Ikigai Relationships and community play a crucial role in discovering and living one's ikigai. Human beings are social creatures, and our connections with others are essential to our well-being, growth, and sense of purpose. When we have strong, supportive relationships and a sense of belonging to a community, we are more likely to feel fulfilled, motivated, and inspired to pursue our passions and goals. One of the key benefits of relationships and community in the context of Ikigai is that they provide a sense of connection and support. When we have people in our lives who understand and appreciate us, who share our values and goals, and who are there to offer encouragement and guidance when we need it, we are more likely to feel confident, resilient, and motivated to pursue our dreams. These connections can take many forms. From close friendships and family relationships to professional networks and community organizations, building and maintaining strong relationships requires intentional effort and commitment. It involves being open and honest with others, listening actively and empathetically, and showing up consistently to offer support and encouragement. It also involves being willing to be vulnerable and to share our own struggles and challenges as this can deepen our connections and create a sense of mutual understanding and trust. One practical way to build and strengthen relationships is to make time for regular social interactions and activities. This might involve setting aside time each week for coffee or meals with friends, 
Joining a club or group that shares your interests, or volunteering for a cause that matters to you. It might also involve reaching out to people you admire or respect and asking for their advice or mentorship. Community involvement is another key aspect of Ikigai, as it provides a sense of belonging and purpose beyond our individual lives. When we are part of a community, whether it's a neighborhood, a faith group, a professional association, or a social cause, we have the opportunity to contribute our skills, talents, and passions to something larger than ourselves. This can be incredibly fulfilling and meaningful, as it allows us to make a positive impact on the world and to feel like we are part of something important. Engaging in community involvement can take many forms, depending on your interests, skills, and available time. It might involve volunteering for a local charity or nonprofit organization, serving on a community board or committee, or organizing a fundraiser or event for a cause you care about. It might also involve participating in community events and activities, such as festivals, workshops, or cultural celebrations. One of the benefits of community involvement is that it can expose us to new ideas, perspectives, and opportunities that we might not have encountered otherwise. When we engage with people from different backgrounds and experiences, we have the chance to learn and grow in ways that can enrich our lives and expand our sense of what's possible. This can be especially valuable in the context of Ikigai, as it can help us identify new passions, skills, and goals that align with our values and purpose. Of course, building and maintaining relationships and community involvement can also be challenging at times. It requires vulnerability, effort, and a willingness to step outside our comfort zones. There may be times when we feel misunderstood, rejected, or overwhelmed by the needs and expectations of others. In these moments, it's important to practice self-care and boundary setting, and to seek support from trusted friends, family members, or professionals when needed. Ultimately, the role of relationships and community in Ikigai is to provide a sense of connection, support, and purpose that can sustain us through the ups and downs of life. When we have strong, healthy relationships and a sense of belonging to a community, we are more likely to feel fulfilled, motivated, and inspired to pursue our passions and goals. We are also more likely to have a positive impact on the world around us and to leave a legacy that extends beyond our individual lives. Building and maintaining relationships and community involvement requires intentional effort and commitment, but the rewards are well worth it. By making time for social interactions and activities, engaging in community involvement, and being open and vulnerable with others, we can create a rich tapestry of connections and experiences that can guide us towards our ikigai and help us live a life of purpose and meaning. So don't be afraid to reach out, connect, and contribute your relationships and community are waiting for you. Chapter 15 Nurturing Meaningful Connections and Supportive Networks Nurturing meaningful connections and building supportive networks are essential components of discovering and living your ikigai. These relationships provide a sense of belonging, purpose, and fulfillment that can sustain you through the challenges and joys of life. Meaningful connections are those that are based on shared values, mutual respect, and a deep sense of care and concern for one another. They are the relationships that uplift and inspire you that challenge you to grow and evolve, and that provide a safe and supportive space for you to be your authentic self. To nurture meaningful connections, start by identifying the people in your life who align with your values and goals. These may be friends, family members, colleagues, mentors, or even acquaintances who share your passions and interests. Reach out to these individuals and make an effort to deepen your relationships through regular communication shared activities, and acts of kindness and support. Be willing to be vulnerable and share your thoughts, feelings, and experiences with these individuals, and create a space for them to do the same. One practical way to nurture meaningful connections is to schedule regular check-ins or get-togethers with the people who matter most to you. This could be a weekly phone call with a long-distance friend, a monthly lunch date with a colleague, or a quarterly retreat with a group of like-minded individuals. The key is to make these interactions a priority 
and to approach them with intentionality and presence. Another way to nurture meaningful connections is to practice active listening and empathy. When you are with someone you care about, give them your full attention and seek to understand their perspective and experience. Ask questions, offer support and encouragement, and be willing to share your own vulnerabilities and challenges. This type of deep, authentic communication can create a powerful sense of connection and trust that can sustain and enrich your relationships over time. In addition to nurturing individual relationships, building supportive networks is also crucial for discovering and living your ikigai. These networks can take many forms, from professional associations and community groups to online forums and social media communities. The key is to seek out networks that align with your values, interests, and goals, and that provide a sense of belonging and support. One benefit of supportive networks is that they can expose you to new ideas, perspectives, and opportunities that you might not have encountered on your own. They can also provide a sense of accountability and motivation as you work towards shared goals and celebrate each other's successes. Additionally, supportive networks can offer practical resources and support, such as job leads, skill-building workshops, or emotional support during challenging times. To build supportive networks, start by identifying the communities and groups that resonate with you. This may involve researching online, attending local events and meetups, or asking for recommendations from friends and colleagues. Once you have identified potential networks, take the time to get to know the members and participate in activities and discussions. Be willing to contribute your own skills, knowledge, and resources, and look for ways to support and uplift others in the group. Another way to build supportive networks is to take the initiative to create your own. If you don't find a community or group that aligns with your interests and goals, consider starting one yourself. This could be as simple as hosting a monthly book club or discussion group, or as complex as launching a new business or nonprofit organization. The key is to identify a need or opportunity and take action to bring people together around a shared purpose. Nurturing meaningful connections and building supportive networks requires time, effort, and vulnerability. It can be challenging to put yourself out there and create deep, authentic relationships, especially if you have experienced hurt or disappointment in the past. However, the rewards of these relationships are immeasurable. They provide a sense of belonging, purpose, and joy that can sustain you through the ups and downs of life and help you discover and live your ikigai. One way to approach the process of nurturing meaningful connections and building supportive networks is to start small and focus on quality over quantity. Rather than trying to connect with everyone you meet or join every group that interests you, focus on cultivating a few deep, authentic relationships and participating in one or two communities that truly resonate with you. As you build trust and rapport with these individuals and groups, you can gradually expand your network and seek out new opportunities for connection and growth. It's also important to be patient and persistent in the process of nurturing meaningful connections and building supportive networks. These relationships take time to develop and deepen, and there may be setbacks and challenges along the way. However, by approaching the process with openness, authenticity, and a willingness to learn and grow, you can create a rich tapestry of relationships that will support and enrich your life for years to come. Nurturing meaningful connections and building supportive networks are essential practices for anyone seeking to discover and live their ikigai. These relationships provide a sense of belonging, purpose, and joy that can sustain you through the challenges and opportunities of life and help you create a life that is rich in meaning and fulfillment. So start today by reaching out to someone you care about, joining a community that resonates with you or taking the initiative to create your own supportive network. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the connections you make along the way will help you discover and live it to the fullest. Chapter 16. Finding Balance and Harmony in Your Life Finding balance and harmony is a crucial aspect of living a fulfilling life and discovering your ikigai. In today's fast-paced and often overwhelming world, it's easy to get caught up in the demands of work family, and social obligations, 
leaving little time for self-care and personal growth. However, when we prioritize balance and harmony in our lives, we create the space and energy necessary to pursue our passions, cultivate meaningful relationships, and live in alignment with our values and purpose. One key aspect of finding balance and harmony is learning to manage your time and energy effectively. This involves setting clear priorities and boundaries, and being intentional about how you spend your days. Start by identifying the activities and commitments that are most important to you, and those that drain your energy or feel like obligations. Then, create a schedule that allows you to focus on your priorities, while also leaving room for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Another important aspect of finding balance and harmony is learning to say no to things that don't align with your values or goals. This can be challenging, especially if you are a people pleaser or have a hard time disappointing others. However, when you say yes to everything, you leave little room for the things that truly matter to you. Practice setting boundaries and communicating your needs and limitations clearly and kindly. Remember that saying no to something that doesn't serve you is saying yes to yourself and your well-being. In addition to managing your time and energy, finding balance and harmony also involves taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional health. This means prioritizing self-care activities like exercise, healthy eating, meditation, and getting enough sleep. It also means seeking out support when you need it, whether that's through therapy, coaching, or connecting with loved ones. One way to incorporate self-care into your daily routine is to create rituals and habits that nourish your body, mind, and spirit. This might include starting your day with a few minutes of meditation or journaling, taking a daily walk in nature, or ending your day with a relaxing bath or reading a book. The key is to find activities that help you feel grounded, centered, and connected to yourself and the world around you. Another important aspect of finding balance and harmony is learning to be present and mindful in each moment. When we are constantly thinking about the past or worrying about the future, we miss out on the beauty and richness of the present. Practice bringing your attention back to the present moment throughout the day, whether that's through deep breathing, sensory awareness, or simply noticing the world around you. One way to cultivate mindfulness is to engage in activities that require your full attention and presence, such as creating art, playing music, or practicing yoga. These activities can help you develop a deeper sense of focus, flow, and connection to the present moment, which can spill over into other areas of your life. Finding balance and harmony also involves cultivating a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the good things in your life. When we focus on what we lack or what's going wrong, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and discouraged. However, when we take time to acknowledge and appreciate the blessings and opportunities in our lives, we cultivate a sense of abundance and joy that can carry us through even the toughest times. One simple way to cultivate gratitude is to keep a gratitude journal, where you write down a few things you are thankful for each day. This can be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a kind word from a friend, or a beautiful sunset. The act of focusing on the good in your life can shift your perspective and help you find more balance and harmony overall. Ultimately. Finding balance and harmony is an ongoing process that requires patience, self-awareness, and a willingness to make adjustments as needed. It's not about achieving a perfect state of equilibrium, but rather about learning to navigate the ebbs and flows of life with grace and resilience. This means being kind and compassionate with yourself when you stumble or feel out of balance and celebrating your progress and successes along the way. It means surrounding yourself with supportive people and environments that uplift and inspire you, and letting go of those that drain your energy or hold you back. Finding balance and harmony is not a destination, but a journey of self-discovery and growth. By prioritizing self-care, setting clear boundaries, cultivating mindfulness and gratitude, and surrounding yourself with positivity and support, you can create a life that feels nourishing fulfilling, and aligned with your deepest values and aspirations. So take a deep breath, trust in the process, and keep moving forward one step at a time. Your Ikigai is waiting for you. 
and the journey towards balance and harmony will help you discover and embrace it fully. Chapter 17 Incorporating Ikigai into your daily routines and habits Incorporating Ikigai into your daily routines and habits is a powerful way to align your life with your values, passions, and purpose. When you infuse your everyday activities with a sense of meaning and intention, you create a life that feels authentic, fulfilling, and deeply satisfying. The key is to identify the small, consistent actions that support your ikigai and make them a regular part of your life. One way to start incorporating ikigai into your daily routines is to set clear intentions for your day. Take a few minutes each morning to reflect on what you want to accomplish, how you want to feel, and what you want to contribute to the world. Write down your intentions in a journal or planner, and refer back to them throughout the day to stay focused and motivated. Next, look for opportunities to align your daily activities with your ikigai. This might involve making small tweaks to your existing routines, or creating new habits that support your passions and purpose. For example, if your ikigai involves creativity and self-expression, you might set aside time each day for writing, painting, or playing music. If your ikigai involves helping others, you might volunteer at a local charity or mentor a young person in your community. Another way to incorporate ikigai into your daily routines is to practice mindfulness and presence in each moment. When you are fully engaged in the task at hand, whether it's working on a project, having a conversation with a loved one, or simply enjoying a meal, you create a sense of flow and connection that feels deeply fulfilling. Practice bringing your full attention to each activity and notice how it impacts your sense of purpose and well-being. One simple way to cultivate mindfulness in your daily routines is to take regular breaks throughout the day to check in with yourself and your surroundings. Take a few deep breaths, stretch your body, and notice any sensations, thoughts, or emotions that arise. Use these moments of pause to reconnect with your intentions and refocus your energy on what matters most. In addition to mindfulness, incorporating self-care into your daily routines is essential for supporting your ikigai. When you take care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being, you create a strong foundation for pursuing your passions and purpose. Make time each day for activities that nourish your body, mind, and spirit, such as exercise, healthy eating, meditation, or spending time in nature. It's also important to create a supportive environment that encourages your ikigai. Surround yourself with people, places, and things that inspire and motivate you, and minimize exposure to negative influences that drain your energy or hold you back. This might involve decluttering your living space setting boundaries with toxic relationships, or seeking out new communities and resources that align with your values and goals. Another way to incorporate Ikigai into your daily routines is to celebrate your progress and successes along the way. When you acknowledge and appreciate the small victories and milestones in your journey, you build momentum and motivation to keep going. Keep a gratitude journal where you write down three things you are thankful for each day or share your accomplishments with a trusted friend or mentor who can offer encouragement and support. It's important to remember that incorporating ikigai into your daily routines is an ongoing process that requires patience, persistence, and self-compassion. There will be days when you feel motivated and inspired, and others when you feel stuck or discouraged. The key is to keep showing up for yourself and your ikigai, even when it feels challenging or uncomfortable. One way to stay committed to your ikigai is to regularly assess and adjust your routines and habits as needed. Pay attention to what is working well and what needs improvement, and be willing to make changes and try new approaches as you grow and evolve. Remember that your ikigai is a dynamic and ever-unfolding journey, not a fixed destination. Incorporating ikigai into your daily routines and habits is a transformative practice that can help you live a life of purpose, passion, and fulfillment. It requires intentional effort and commitment, but the rewards are immeasurable. When you align your everyday actions with your deepest values and aspirations, you create a sense of meaning and satisfaction that permeates every aspect of your life. So start small and focus on progress, 
not perfection. Identify the habits and routines that support your ikigai and commit to practicing them consistently. Celebrate your successes and learn from your challenges and trust that each step is bringing you closer to a life that feels authentic, purposeful, and deeply fulfilling. Your ikigai is waiting for you and the power to discover and live it lies within your daily choices and actions. Chapter 18 The Japanese Art of Simplicity and Minimalism The Japanese Art of Simplicity and Minimalism is a powerful tool for discovering and living your ikigai. At its core, this approach involves decluttering your life, both physically and mentally, to create space for what truly matters. When you simplify your surroundings and focus on the essentials, you gain clarity, peace of mind, and a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. One of the key principles of Japanese simplicity and minimalism is the concept of ma, which refers to the space or pause between things. In traditional Japanese art and design, ma is used to create a sense of balance, harmony, and beauty. It's the empty space on a page that makes the words and images stand out or the silence between notes that gives music its rhythm and flow. Applying the concept of ma to your life means creating intentional space and pauses in your daily routines and surroundings. It means letting go of excess clutter, distractions, and obligations, and making room for the things that truly nourish and inspire you. This might involve decluttering your living space, simplifying your schedule, or setting boundaries around your time and energy. One practical way to start incorporating simplicity and minimalism into your life is to do a thorough decluttering of your physical belongings. Go through your home, room by room, and eliminate anything that no longer serves you or brings you joy. Donate or sell items that are in good condition, and dispose of anything that is broken, expired, or no longer useful. As you declutter, pay attention to how each item makes you feel. Does it spark a sense of joy, nostalgia, or purpose? Or does it feel like a burden or a distraction? Use these insights to guide your decisions about what to keep and what to let go. Once you've decluttered your physical space, take a look at your schedule and commitments. Are there activities or obligations that are draining your time and energy without adding value to your life? Are there ways to simplify your routines or delegate tasks to create more space for the things that matter most? One way to simplify your schedule is to practice saying no to requests or invitations that don't align with your values or priorities. This can be challenging, especially if you're used to putting others' needs before your own. But when you set clear boundaries and communicate your needs respectfully, you create more space for the things that truly matter to you. Another aspect of Japanese simplicity and minimalism is the concept of wabai sabai, which celebrates the beauty of imperfection and impermanence. In contrast to the Western ideal of perfection and permanence, wabai sabai recognizes that everything in life is constantly changing and evolving, and that true beauty lies in the unique quirks and flaws of each moment. Applying the concept of wabai sabai to your life means letting go of the need for perfection and control, and embracing the natural ebb and flow of life. It means finding beauty and meaning in the small, ordinary moments, and accepting that challenges and setbacks are a natural part of the journey. One way to cultivate a Wabai Sabai mindset is to practice mindfulness and presence in each moment. Instead of getting caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past, focus on the here and now. Notice the small details and sensations around you, and appreciate the unique beauty and imperfection of each experience. Another way to embrace Wabai Sabai is to let go of the need for external validation and approval. Instead of striving to meet someone else's expectations or ideals, focus on living in alignment with your own values and purpose. Trust that your unique quirks and imperfections are what make you special and valuable and that true happiness comes from within. Incorporating the Japanese art of simplicity and minimalism into your life is a gradual and ongoing process. It requires patience, self-awareness, and a willingness to let go of old habits and beliefs. But the benefits are immeasurable. When you simplify your life and focus on what truly matters, 
you create space for greater clarity, creativity, and purpose. You also develop a deeper sense of gratitude and appreciation for the simple joys and blessings in your life. Instead of constantly striving for more, you learn to find contentment and fulfillment in what you already have. You develop a sense of inner peace and resilience that allows you to weather life's challenges with grace and perspective. The Japanese art of simplicity and minimalism is a beautiful and transformative practice that can help you discover and live your ikigai. It requires letting go of excess and embracing the essential, finding beauty in imperfection, and cultivating mindfulness and presence in each moment. When you align your life with these principles, you create space for greater clarity, purpose, and joy, and unlock the full potential of your unique gifts and passions. So take a deep breath, let go of what no longer serves you, and trust in the simple beauty and wisdom of the present moment. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is one of simplicity, mindfulness, and grace. Chapter 19 Practicing Gratitude and Appreciation for Life's Blessings Practicing gratitude and appreciation is a fundamental aspect of discovering and living your ikigai. When you cultivate a sense of thankfulness for the blessings and opportunities in your life, you shift your focus from what you lack to what you have. This simple yet powerful shift in perspective can transform your experience of life, bringing greater joy, fulfillment, and resilience in the face of challenges. Gratitude is the act of acknowledging and appreciating the good things in your life, no matter how small or ordinary they may seem. It's about recognizing the gifts and blessings that surround you, from the air you breathe to the people who love and support you. When you practice gratitude consistently, you train your brain to look for the positive aspects of each moment, rather than dwelling on the negative. One of the most effective ways to cultivate gratitude is to keep a gratitude journal. Each day, take a few minutes to write down three to five things you are thankful for. These can be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a kind word from a friend, or a beautiful sunset. The act of writing down your gratitude helps to solidify it in your mind and creates a tangible record of the blessings in your life. As you write in your gratitude journal, be specific and descriptive. Instead of simply writing, I'm grateful for my family, elaborate on what you appreciate about each person and how they enrich your life. This helps to deepen your sense of gratitude and creates a more vivid and meaningful record of your blessings. Another way to practice gratitude is to express it directly to others. Take time each day to thank the people in your life for their kindness, support, and contributions. This can be as simple as a heartfelt thank you or a thoughtful note of appreciation. When you express gratitude to others, you not only make them feel valued and appreciated, but you also strengthen your own sense of connection and belonging. In addition to expressing gratitude to others, it's important to practice self-gratitude and appreciation. Take time to acknowledge and celebrate your own strengths, achievements, and growth. Instead of focusing on your flaws or shortcomings, recognize the progress you've made and the unique qualities that make you valuable and worthy. One way to practice self-gratitude is to keep a wins journal where you record your daily successes and accomplishments, no matter how small. This can include things like completing a difficult task, overcoming a challenge, or taking a step towards a goal. By focusing on your wins, you build confidence and momentum, and develop a more positive and empowering self-image. Practicing gratitude and appreciation also involves cultivating a sense of awe and wonder for the world around you. Take time each day to notice and appreciate the beauty and miracles of life, from the intricate patterns of a flower to the vastness of the night sky. When you approach life with a sense of curiosity and reverence, you open yourself up to greater joy, meaning, and purpose. One way to cultivate awe and wonder is to spend time in nature, observing the incredible diversity and complexity of the natural world. Take a walk in the park. Sit by a stream or watch the sunset, and allow yourself to be fully present and absorbed in the moment. Notice the sounds, smells, and sensations around you, and let yourself be filled with a sense of appreciation and wonder. 
practicing gratitude and appreciation is not always easy, especially during times of stress, loss, or uncertainty. It can be tempting to focus on what's going wrong or what's missing, rather than what's going right. But it's precisely during these challenging times that gratitude is most important and transformative. When you're facing difficult circumstances, take a moment to pause and reflect on the things you're still grateful for, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. Perhaps it's a supportive friend, a warm bed to sleep in, or the simple fact that you're alive and breathing. By focusing on gratitude, you shift your perspective from one of lack and scarcity to one of abundance and possibility. It's also important to practice gratitude and appreciation, not just for the big, obvious blessings in your life, but also for the challenges and obstacles you face. Every difficulty or setback is an opportunity for growth, learning, and transformation. When you approach challenges with a grateful and curious mindset, you open yourself up to new insights, skills, and opportunities that can enrich and expand your life. Practicing gratitude and appreciation is a lifelong journey that requires commitment, intention, and persistence. It's not about denying or minimizing the difficult aspects of life, but rather about choosing to focus on the good, even in the midst of challenges. When you make gratitude a daily habit and a way of being, you transform your experience of life from one of struggle and scarcity to one of joy, abundance, and possibility. Gratitude and appreciation are essential ingredients for discovering and living your ikigai. They help you cultivate a sense of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment, and connect you more deeply to the people and world around you. So take a moment each day to pause, reflect, and give thanks for the countless blessings and opportunities in your life. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with gratitude, wonder, and appreciation. Chapter 20 The Importance of Lifelong Learning and Curiosity Lifelong learning and curiosity are essential components of discovering and living your ikigai. When you approach life with an open and inquisitive mindset, you unlock a world of possibilities and opportunities for growth, discovery, and fulfillment. Learning is not confined to the classroom or limited to a certain age or stage of life. It is a continuous and evolving process that enriches and expands your horizons at every turn. Curiosity is the spark that ignites the flames of learning and growth. It is the desire to explore, question, and understand the world around you, and to seek out new experiences and perspectives that challenge and inspire you. When you cultivate a sense of curiosity, you open yourself up to a life of wonder, excitement, and endless possibilities. One of the most powerful ways to cultivate curiosity is to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask why or how when you encounter something new or unfamiliar. Seek out the stories and experiences of others and listen with an open and non-judgmental mind. When you approach life with a sense of curiosity and a willingness to learn, you create opportunities for growth and connection that might otherwise pass you by. Another way to cultivate curiosity is to step outside your comfort zone and try new things. Take a class in a subject that interests you, even if it's not directly related to your career or current pursuits. Travel to a new place and immerse yourself in a different culture or way of life. Volunteer for a cause or organization that aligns with your values and passions. When you expose yourself to new experiences and perspectives, you expand your horizons and deepen your understanding of yourself and the world around you. Lifelong learning is not just about acquiring new knowledge or skills. It is also about developing a growth mindset and a willingness to embrace change and uncertainty. In a rapidly changing world, the ability to adapt and learn is more important than ever. When you approach learning with a growth mindset, you see challenges and setbacks as opportunities for growth and development, rather than as obstacles or failures. One way to develop a growth mindset is to reframe your relationship with failure and mistakes. Instead of seeing failure as a sign of inadequacy or weakness, see it as a natural and necessary part of the learning process. Embrace the discomfort and uncertainty that come with trying new things and trust in your ability to learn and grow from every experience. 
Another way to develop a growth mindset is to seek out feedback and constructive criticism. Don't be afraid to ask for help or guidance when you need it, and be open to hearing different perspectives and ideas. When you receive feedback, take it as an opportunity to learn and improve, rather than as a personal attack or rejection. Lifelong learning and curiosity are not just about personal growth and fulfillment. They are also essential for building strong and resilient communities. When individuals and societies value learning and growth, they create a culture of innovation, creativity, and progress. They are better equipped to solve complex problems, adapt to changing circumstances, and create a more just and equitable world. One way to contribute to a culture of lifelong learning and curiosity is to share your own knowledge and experiences with others. Become a mentor or teacher and help others discover their own passions and potential. Engage in meaningful conversations and debates and seek out diverse perspectives and ideas. When you share your own learning and growth with others, you create a ripple effect of positive change that extends far beyond yourself. Lifelong learning and curiosity are not always easy or comfortable. They require a willingness to step outside your comfort zone, embrace uncertainty, and confront your own assumptions and biases. They can be challenging, frustrating, and even overwhelming at times. But the rewards of a life lived in pursuit of learning and growth are immeasurable. When you cultivate a sense of curiosity and a love of learning, you unlock a world of possibilities and opportunities for growth, discovery, and fulfillment. You develop a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you, and you create a life that is rich in meaning, purpose, and joy. Lifelong learning and curiosity are essential ingredients for discovering and living your ikigai. They help you identify your passions and strengths, develop new skills and knowledge, and create a life that is authentic purposeful, and deeply fulfilling. So embrace the discomfort and uncertainty that come with learning and growth, and trust in your ability to transform challenges into opportunities. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with curiosity, wonder, and a lifelong love of learning. Chapter 21 Adapting and Evolving Your Ikigai Throughout Life's Stages Ikigai is not a static concept that remains fixed throughout your life. It is a dynamic and evolving process that changes and adapts as you grow and experience new challenges and opportunities. Your passions, values, and sense of purpose may shift and expand over time, reflecting the natural progression of your life's journey. Recognizing and embracing the changing nature of your ikigai is essential for maintaining a sense of authenticity and fulfillment at every stage of life. What brought you joy and meaning in your 20s may be different from what drives you in your 40s or 60s. By staying open to new experiences and perspectives, you allow your ikigai to evolve and deepen over time. One of the key challenges of adapting your ikigai throughout life's stages is letting go of old identities and roles that no longer serve you. As you move through different phases of life, such as starting a family, changing careers, or entering retirement, you may need to reassess your priorities and values. This can be a difficult and sometimes painful process, as it requires you to confront your own assumptions and beliefs about who you are and what you want. However, letting go of old identities and roles can also be a liberating and transformative experience. When you release the expectations and limitations that no longer align with your true self, you create space for new possibilities and opportunities to emerge. You may discover hidden talents and passions that you never knew existed, or find new ways to contribute to the world around you. One way to adapt your ikigai throughout life stages is to stay curious and open to new experiences. Take classes, attend workshops, or volunteer for organizations that align with your evolving interests and values. Seek out mentors and role models who have navigated similar transitions and can offer guidance and support. When you approach life with a sense of curiosity and a willingness to learn, you create opportunities for growth and discovery at every stage. Another way to adapt your ikigai is to practice self-reflection and introspection. 
Take time to regularly assess your values, priorities, and sense of purpose, and consider how they may have changed over time. Ask yourself questions such as, what brings me joy and fulfillment in this current stage of life? What challenges or obstacles am I facing? And how can I approach them with a sense of purpose and meaning? What legacy do I want to leave behind? And how can I align my actions with that vision? Adapting your ikigai throughout life's stages also requires a willingness to embrace change and uncertainty. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, and your ikigai may need to adapt and evolve in response to these challenges. When you approach change with a sense of curiosity and openness, you create opportunities for growth and transformation that may not have been possible otherwise. One way to cultivate a sense of resilience and adaptability in the face of change is to focus on your strengths and values. When you know what you stand for and what you are capable of, you are better equipped to navigate the ups and downs of life with a sense of purpose and meaning. You can also draw on the support and guidance of your community and loved ones who can offer perspective and encouragement during times of transition. Adapting your ikigai throughout life stages is not always easy or comfortable. It requires a willingness to let go of old identities and roles, embrace change and uncertainty, and stay open to new experiences and perspectives. It can be challenging, frightening, and even painful at times. But the rewards of a life lived in alignment with your evolving ikigai are immeasurable. When you allow your ikigai to adapt and evolve over time, you create a life that is rich in meaning, purpose, and authenticity. You develop a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you, and you create opportunities for growth, discovery, and transformation at every stage of life. The key is to approach the process with patience, self-compassion, and a willingness to learn and grow. Trust in your own resilience and adaptability, and know that your ikigai is a dynamic and evolving process that will continue to unfold and deepen over time. Your ikigai is waiting for you and the path to discovering. It is a lifelong journey of growth, discovery, and transformation. So stay curious, stay open, and trust in the process. Embrace the changing nature of your ikigai, and allow it to guide you towards a life of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment at every stage of the journey. Chapter 22 Overcoming Setbacks and Navigating Life's Challenges Life is full of challenges and setbacks that can test our resilience, strength, and sense of purpose. Whether it's a personal crisis, a professional obstacle, or a global pandemic, these challenges can disrupt our plans and shake our confidence in our ability to live a fulfilling life. However, it is precisely in these moments of adversity that our ikigai can serve as a guiding light, helping us to navigate the storms and emerge stronger and more purposeful on the other side. One of the keys to overcoming setbacks and navigating life's challenges is to cultivate a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed and improved through effort, learning, and perseverance. When we approach challenges with a growth mindset, we see them as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as threats to our self-worth or identity. To cultivate a growth mindset, start by reframing your relationship with failure and setbacks. Instead of seeing failure as a sign of inadequacy or weakness, see it as a natural and necessary part of the learning process. Embrace the discomfort and uncertainty that come with trying new things, and trust in your ability to learn and grow from every experience. Another way to overcome setbacks is to focus on your strengths and values. When you know what you stand for and what you are capable of, you are better equipped to navigate challenges with a sense of purpose and meaning. Take time to identify your core strengths and values and consider how you can leverage them to overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. One practical way to focus on your strengths is to keep a success journal where you record your accomplishments and achievements, no matter how small. This can help you build confidence and momentum and remind you of your own resilience and capability when faced with challenges. Navigating life's challenges also requires a willingness to seek out support and guidance from others. No one can go through life alone, 
and having a strong support system can make all the difference when facing adversity. Reach out to friends, family, mentors, or professionals who can offer encouragement, advice, and perspective when you need it most. One way to build a strong support system is to actively cultivate relationships with people who share your values and goals. Seek out communities and organizations that align with your ikigai. And look for opportunities to connect with like-minded individuals who can offer support and guidance along the way. Another way to navigate life's challenges is to practice self-care and stress management. When we are facing adversity, it can be easy to neglect our own physical, mental, and emotional well-being. However, taking care of ourselves is essential for building resilience and maintaining a sense of purpose and meaning in the face of challenges. Some practical ways to practice self-care include getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, practicing mindfulness or meditation, and engaging in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. It's also important to set boundaries and prioritize your own needs, even when faced with competing demands from work, family, or other obligations. Navigating life's challenges also requires a willingness to adapt and pivot when necessary. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, our plans and goals may need to change in response to unforeseen circumstances or obstacles. When this happens, it's important to stay flexible and open to new possibilities, rather than getting stuck in a rigid or fixed mindset. One way to cultivate adaptability is to regularly reassess your goals and priorities and make adjustments as needed. Ask yourself, what is most important to me right now? What can I let go of or delegate to others? What new opportunities or paths might be available to me in light of these challenges? Overcoming setbacks and navigating life's challenges is not always easy or comfortable. It requires patience, perseverance, and a willingness to confront our own fears and limitations. It can be scary, frustrating, and even overwhelming at times. But the rewards of facing adversity with a sense of purpose and meaning are immeasurable. When we approach challenges with a growth mindset, focus on our strengths and values, seek out support and guidance, practice self-care, and stay adaptable and flexible, we build the resilience and inner strength needed to overcome any obstacle. We develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us and we create opportunities for growth, learning, and transformation that may not have been possible otherwise. Setbacks and challenges are an inevitable part of the human experience, but they do not define us. What defines us is how we choose to respond to them, and how we use them as opportunities to grow, learn, and become the best version of ourselves. Your ikigai can serve as a compass and a source of strength during these times, guiding you towards a life of purpose, meaning, and resilience in the face of any challenge. So when you find yourself facing a setback or challenge, take a deep breath and trust in the process. Know that you have the strength, the resources, and the resilience to overcome any obstacle and emerge stronger and more purposeful on the other side. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with the challenges and triumphs of a life well lived. Chapter 23 the connection between ikigai and physical health. Ikigai is not just about finding purpose and meaning in life. It is also closely connected to our physical health and well-being. When we are living in alignment with our values, passions, and sense of purpose, we experience a greater sense of vitality, resilience, and overall health. Conversely, when we are disconnected from our ikigai, we may experience chronic stress, fatigue, and even physical illness. One of the key ways that Ikigai promotes physical health is by reducing stress and promoting relaxation. When we are engaged in activities that bring us joy and fulfillment, our bodies release endorphins and other feel-good chemicals that help to reduce stress and promote a sense of calm and well-being. This can have a positive impact on our overall health reducing the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. To harness the stress-reducing benefits of Ikigai, it's important to make time for activities that bring you joy and fulfillment on a regular basis. 
This might include hobbies, creative pursuits, or time spent in nature. It's also important to practice stress management techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, which can help to calm the mind and body and promote a sense of inner peace. Another way that Ikigai promotes physical health is by encouraging regular physical activity. When we are engaged in activities that we enjoy and that align with our sense of purpose, we are more likely to be physically active and to maintain a healthy lifestyle. This can include activities such as walking, hiking, dancing, or playing sports, which can help to improve cardiovascular health, strengthen muscles and bones, and boost overall energy levels. To incorporate more physical activity into your daily life, look for ways to make it enjoyable and meaningful. This might include joining a local sports team or fitness group, taking up a new hobby such as gardening or cycling, or simply taking regular walks in nature with friends or family. The key is to find activities that you enjoy and that align with your ikigai, so that physical activity becomes a natural and rewarding part of your daily routine. Ikigai can also promote physical health by improving sleep quality and duration. When we are living in alignment with our purpose and values, we are more likely to experience a sense of inner peace and contentment which can help to promote restful and restorative sleep. This is important because sleep is essential for physical and mental health, helping to repair and regenerate the body, boost immune function, and improve cognitive performance. To improve sleep quality and duration, it's important to establish a regular sleep routine and create a sleep-friendly environment. This might include going to bed and waking up at the same time each day, avoiding screens and stimulating activities before bedtime, and creating a cool, dark, and quiet sleep environment. It's also important to address any underlying sleep disorders or health issues that may be impacting sleep quality, such as sleep apnea or restless leg syndrome. In addition to promoting physical health directly, Ikigai can also have indirect benefits by encouraging healthy behaviors and lifestyle choices. When we are living in alignment with our values and sense of purpose, we are more likely to make choices that support our overall health and well-being. This might include choosing nutritious foods, avoiding harmful substances such as tobacco or excessive alcohol, and seeking out social connections and support. To make healthy choices that align with your ikigai, it's important to be mindful and intentional about your daily habits and routines. This might include planning healthy meals and snacks in advance, setting aside time for regular physical activity and relaxation, and seeking out social connections and support from friends, family, or community groups. Of course, the connection between ikigai and physical health is not always straightforward or easy. Life can be full of challenges and setbacks that can impact our health and well-being, even when we are living in alignment with our purpose and values. It's important to be patient and compassionate with ourselves during these times, and to seek out support and resources as needed. Some practical ways to support physical health during challenging times include Prioritizing self-care and stress management Seeking out medical care and support as needed And focusing on small, achievable goals that align with your ikigai. It's also important to be flexible and adaptable and to adjust your expectations and routines as needed to accommodate changing circumstances or health needs. The connection between ikigai and physical health is a powerful and holistic one, recognizing the interconnectedness of mind, body, and spirit. When we are living in alignment with our purpose and values, we experience a greater sense of vitality, resilience, and overall well-being. This can have a positive impact on our physical health, reducing stress, promoting healthy behaviors, and improving sleep quality and duration. To harness the health-promoting benefits of Ikigai, it's important to be intentional and proactive about incorporating joy, meaning, and purpose into our daily lives. This might include making time for hobbies and creative pursuits, engaging in regular physical activity, practicing stress management techniques, and seeking out social connections and support. It also means being patient and compassionate with ourselves during challenging times 
and adjusting our expectations and routines as needed to support our overall health and well-being. Ikigai is not a magic cure-all for physical health, but it is a powerful tool for promoting vitality, resilience, and overall well-being. When we are living in alignment with our purpose and values, we create the conditions for optimal health and happiness, and open ourselves up to a life of greater meaning, fulfillment, and joy. Chapter 24 Nurturing Your Mental and Emotional Well-Being Ikigai is not just about finding purpose and meaning in life. It is also closely connected to our mental and emotional well-being. When we are living in alignment with our values, passions, and sense of purpose, we experience a greater sense of happiness, fulfillment, and overall well-being. Conversely, when we are disconnected from our ikigai, we may experience feelings of stress, anxiety, depression, or a lack of direction and purpose. One of the key ways that Ikigai promotes mental and emotional well-being is by providing a sense of meaning and purpose in life. When we have a clear sense of what matters most to us and what we want to contribute to the world, we are more likely to experience a sense of direction, motivation, and fulfillment. This can help to reduce feelings of stress, anxiety, and depression and promote a greater sense of happiness and well-being. To cultivate a sense of meaning and purpose, it's important to take time for self-reflection and introspection. This might include journaling, meditation, or talking with a trusted friend or therapist about your values, passions, and goals. It's also important to seek out activities and experiences that align with your ikigai, whether that's volunteering for a cause you care about, pursuing a creative passion, or spending time with loved ones. Another way that Ikigai promotes mental and emotional well-being is by fostering a sense of social connection and belonging. When we are engaged in activities and relationships that are meaningful and fulfilling, we are more likely to experience a sense of connection and support from others. This can help to reduce feelings of loneliness and isolation, and promote a greater sense of happiness and well-being. To foster a sense of social connection and belonging, it's important to prioritize relationships and activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. This might include spending quality time with friends and family, joining a community group or club, or volunteering for a cause you care about. It's also important to practice good communication and listening skills, and to be open and authentic in your interactions with others. Ikigai can also promote mental and emotional well-being by encouraging a growth mindset and resilience in the face of challenges. When we approach life with a sense of curiosity, openness, and a willingness to learn and grow, we are more likely to bounce back from setbacks and challenges and to find new opportunities for growth and development. To cultivate a growth mindset and resilience, it's important to reframe challenges as opportunities for learning and growth rather than as threats or failures. This might involve practicing self-compassion and kindness when faced with setbacks, seeking out feedback and support from others, and focusing on progress and growth, rather than perfection. In addition to these broader strategies, there are also many practical tools and techniques that can help to promote mental and emotional well-being in the context of Ikigai. These might include Practicing mindfulness and meditation to cultivate present moment awareness and reduce stress and anxiety. Engaging in regular exercise and physical activity to boost mood, reduce stress, and promote overall well-being. Eating a healthy, balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains to support brain health and function. Getting enough sleep and rest to promote mental clarity, emotional regulation, and overall well-being, seeking out therapy or counseling to address any underlying mental health concerns or challenges, engaging in creative activities such as art, music, or writing to express emotions and promote self-awareness and self-expression, practicing gratitude and focusing on the positive aspects of life to promote a sense of joy and contentment. Of course, Nurturing mental and emotional well-being is not always easy, and there may be times when we struggle with feelings of stress, anxiety, or depression, even when we are living in alignment with our ikigai. 
It's important to be patient and compassionate with ourselves during these times and to seek out support and resources as needed. Some practical ways to support mental and emotional well-being during challenging times include reaching out to a trusted friend, family member, or mental health professional for support, practicing self-care activities such as taking a warm bath, reading a book, or spending time in nature, and focusing on small, achievable goals that align with your values and priorities. Nurturing mental and emotional well-being is an ongoing process that requires intention, effort, and self-awareness. It involves cultivating a sense of meaning and purpose, fostering social connections and belonging, developing a growth mindset and resilience, and engaging in practical tools and techniques that support overall well-being. When we prioritize our mental and emotional well-being in the context of Ikigai, we create the conditions for greater happiness, fulfillment, and overall life satisfaction. We are better able to navigate challenges and setbacks, and to find joy and meaning in the everyday moments of life. So take time to reflect on what matters most to you, to cultivate meaningful relationships and activities, and to engage in practices that support your mental and emotional well-being. Remember that nurturing your well-being is not a selfish act, but rather an essential part of living a fulfilling and purposeful life. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with self-awareness, self-care, and a commitment to your own happiness and well-being. Chapter 25 The Role of Creativity and Self-Expression in Ikigai Creativity and self-expression play a vital role in discovering and living one's ikigai. When we engage in creative activities that allow us to express our unique perspectives, talents, and passions, we tap into a deep sense of purpose and fulfillment. Creativity and self-expression provide a means for us to explore our inner world, to communicate our ideas and emotions, and to connect with others in meaningful ways. One of the key benefits of creativity and self-expression is that they allow us to develop a stronger sense of self and identity. When we engage in activities that allow us to express ourselves authentically, we gain a deeper understanding of who we are, what we value, and what we have to offer the world. This self-awareness can help us to make more intentional choices about how we want to live our lives and can guide us towards activities and relationships that align with our ikigai. To cultivate creativity and self-expression, it's important to make time for activities that allow you to explore your passions and interests. This might include pursuits such as writing, painting, music, dance, or any other form of creative expression that resonates with you. The key is to approach these activities with a sense of curiosity, openness, and a willingness to experiment and take risks. One practical way to incorporate creativity and self-expression into your daily life is to set aside dedicated time for creative pursuits. This might involve carving out a few hours each week to work on a creative project, or integrating small creative activities into your daily routine, such as doodling in a sketchbook or writing in a journal. The important thing is to make creativity and self-expression a regular part of your life, rather than a rare or occasional indulgence. Another way to cultivate creativity and self-expression is to seek out new experiences and perspectives. This might involve traveling to new places, trying new foods or activities, or engaging with people from different backgrounds and cultures. Exposure to new ideas and experiences can help to stimulate creative thinking and inspire new forms of self-expression. It's also important to cultivate a supportive environment for creativity and self-expression. This might involve surrounding yourself with people who encourage and appreciate your creative pursuits or seeking out communities or groups that share your interests and passions. Having a supportive network can provide motivation, feedback, and inspiration, and can help to sustain your creative practice over time. In addition to these broader strategies, there are also many practical tools and techniques that can help to promote creativity and self-expression in the context of Ikigai. These might include practicing brainstorming and ideation techniques to generate new ideas and perspectives, using prompts or constraints to stimulate creative thinking and problem-solving, 
engaging in collaborative creative projects with others to share ideas and inspire new forms of expression, taking breaks and engaging in activities that allow your mind to wander and daydream, such as walking in nature or listening to music, practicing mindfulness and meditation to cultivate a sense of presence and awareness in the creative process, seeking out feedback and constructive criticism from others to refine and improve your creative work, celebrating your creative accomplishments and sharing your work with others to build confidence and motivation. Of course, cultivating creativity and self-expression is not always easy, and there may be times when we feel stuck, uninspired, or self-critical. It's important to be patient and compassionate with ourselves during these times, and to remember that creativity is a process that requires persistence, experimentation, and a willingness to embrace imperfection. Some practical ways to overcome creative blocks and challenges include taking breaks and engaging in activities that allow your mind to rest and recharge, such as exercise or spending time in nature, seeking out inspiration from other creative works or experiences, breaking down creative projects into smaller, more manageable steps, and practicing self-compassion and kindness when faced with setbacks or failures. Creativity and self-expression are essential components of discovering and living one's ikigai. They provide a means for us to explore our inner world, to communicate our ideas and emotions, and to connect with others in meaningful ways. When we make time for creative pursuits, seek out new experiences and perspectives, cultivate a supportive environment, and engage in practical tools and techniques, we create the conditions for greater creativity, self-awareness, and fulfillment. So take time to explore your creative passions and interests, to experiment with new forms of self-expression, and to celebrate your unique talents and perspectives. Remember that creativity is not about perfection, but rather about the joy and fulfillment that comes from expressing yourself authentically and connecting with others in meaningful ways. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with creativity, curiosity, and a willingness to embrace your own unique voice and vision. Chapter 26 Finding Joy and Fulfillment in the Present Moment Finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment is a key aspect of living one's ikigai. In today's fast-paced and often stressful world, it's easy to get caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past, and to miss out on the beauty and richness of the present moment. However, when we cultivate a sense of presence and mindfulness, we open ourselves up to a greater sense of joy, meaning, and purpose in our daily lives. One of the main benefits of finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment is that it helps us to appreciate the small pleasures and blessings that we might otherwise overlook. Whether it's the warmth of the sun on our skin, the taste of a delicious meal, or the laughter of a loved one, there are countless moments of joy and beauty that we can savor and cherish if we take the time to notice them. To cultivate a greater sense of presence and mindfulness, it's important to develop a regular practice of paying attention to the present moment. This might involve taking a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath, or engaging in activities that require your full attention and engagement, such as gardening, cooking, or playing music. One practical way to find joy and fulfillment in the present moment is to practice gratitude. Taking time each day to reflect on the things you are thankful for, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, can help to shift your focus away from what's lacking or stressful in your life and towards the abundance and blessings that surround you. Another way to find joy and fulfillment in the present moment is to engage in activities that bring you a sense of flow and absorption. Flow is a state of complete immersion in an activity, where time seems to disappear and you feel fully engaged and present in the moment. Activities that can promote a sense of flow might include creative pursuits such as painting or writing, physical activities such as running or dancing, or intellectual pursuits such as solving puzzles or learning a new skill. It's also important to cultivate a sense of self-compassion and kindness when it comes to finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment. We all have days when we feel stressed, 
anxious, or overwhelmed. And it's easy to beat ourselves up or feel like we're failing at living in the present. However, when we approach ourselves with a sense of compassion and understanding, we create space for greater joy and fulfillment to emerge, even in the midst of challenges or setbacks. Some practical ways to cultivate self-compassion and kindness in the present moment include speaking to yourself with the same kindness and encouragement that you would offer a dear friend, taking breaks and engaging in self-care activities when you feel overwhelmed or stressed, and reframing challenges or setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as failures or shortcomings. Finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment also involves letting go of expectations and attachments to specific outcomes or results. When we get too caught up in striving for a particular goal or outcome, we can miss out on the richness and beauty of the journey itself. Instead, it's important to approach each moment with a sense of openness, curiosity, and a willingness to accept things as they are, rather than as we wish they were. Some practical ways to let go of expectations and attachments in the present moment include Practicing non-judgment and acceptance of your thoughts and feelings as they arise. Focusing on the process and experience of an activity, rather than the end result. And cultivating a sense of equanimity and balance in the face of both successes and setbacks. Of course, finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment is not always easy. And there may be times when we feel disconnected, distracted, or overwhelmed by the challenges of daily life. However, with practice and persistence, we can develop a greater capacity for presence, mindfulness, and joy, even in the midst of difficulty or uncertainty. Some practical ways to support your practice of finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment include setting aside dedicated time each day for mindfulness or meditation. Seeking out experiences and activities that promote a sense of flow and absorption. Surrounding yourself with supportive and positive people who encourage you to live in the present. And celebrating your successes and progress, no matter how small or incremental. Finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment is an essential aspect of living one's ikigai. When we cultivate a sense of presence, mindfulness, and gratitude, we open ourselves up to a greater sense of meaning, purpose, and happiness in our daily lives. We learn to appreciate the small pleasures and blessings that surround us, to engage fully in activities that bring us joy and absorption, and to approach challenges and setbacks with a sense of equanimity and self-compassion. So take time each day to pause, breathe, and savor the richness and beauty of the present moment. Remember that joy and fulfillment are not destinations to be reached, but rather states of being that we can cultivate and nurture through our daily choices and actions. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with presence, mindfulness, and a willingness to find joy and meaning in each moment, just as it is. Chapter 27 The Power of Giving Back and Making a Difference Giving back and making a difference in the world are powerful ways to live one's ikigai and find a sense of purpose and fulfillment in life. When we contribute our time, energy, and resources to causes and communities that matter to us, we not only help to create positive change in the world, but we also deepen our own sense of meaning, connection, and joy. One of the key benefits of giving back and making a difference is that it allows us to use our unique skills, talents, and passions in service of something greater than ourselves. Whether it's volunteering at a local shelter, donating to a favorite charity, or using our professional skills to support a cause we care about, giving back provides an opportunity to make a tangible impact on the world and feel a sense of purpose and accomplishment. To find meaningful ways to give back and make a difference, it's important to identify the causes and issues that matter most to you. This might involve reflecting on your own experiences, values, and passions, and considering how you can use your unique strengths and resources to create positive change in those areas. One practical way to identify meaningful causes and issues is to ask yourself questions such as, What breaks my heart about the world? What injustices or challenges do I feel called to address? What communities or populations do I feel a strong connection to or desire to support? 
By answering these questions honestly and thoughtfully, you can start to identify the areas where you feel most called to make a difference. Once you've identified the causes and issues that matter most to you, the next step is to find practical ways to get involved and take action. This might involve researching local organizations or initiatives that align with your interests, attending community events or meetings to learn more about the issues and connect with like-minded individuals, or looking for volunteer or donation opportunities that fit your skills and availability. It's important to approach giving back and making a difference with a sense of humility, openness, and a willingness to learn. While it's natural to want to jump in and make a big impact right away, it's often more effective to start small and build relationships and understanding over time. This might involve listening to the needs and perspectives of the communities you want to support, being open to feedback and guidance from those with more experience or expertise, and being willing to adapt your approach as you learn and grow. Giving back and making a difference can also involve using your professional skills and resources in service of a greater good. This might involve offering pro bono services to nonprofit organizations, using your business or entrepreneurial skills to create social enterprises or sustainable solutions, or advocating for positive change within your industry or field. Some practical ways to use your professional skills and resources for good include Partnering with nonprofit organizations to provide training, mentorship, or other support. Developing products or services that address social or environmental challenges. Using your platform or influence to raise awareness and advocate for important issues. And investing in companies or initiatives that prioritize social and environmental responsibility. Of course, giving back and making a difference is not always easy, and there may be times when we feel overwhelmed discouraged, or unsure of how to proceed. It's important to approach this work with a sense of self-compassion and resilience, recognizing that change takes time and that setbacks and challenges are a natural part of the process. Some practical ways to cultivate resilience and self-compassion in the face of challenges include celebrating small victories and progress, even when the bigger picture feels daunting. Seeking out support and encouragement from like-minded individuals or communities. Taking breaks and engaging in self-care activities to prevent burnout. And reframing setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. Giving back and making a difference are powerful ways to live one's ikigai and find a sense of purpose and fulfillment in life. When we contribute our time, energy, and resources to causes and communities that matter to us, we not only help to create positive change in the world, but we also deepen our own sense of meaning, connection, and joy. The path to making a difference is not always straightforward or easy, but it is a path worth pursuing. It requires a willingness to listen, learn, and adapt, a commitment to using our unique strengths and resources for good, and a sense of resilience and self-compassion in the face of challenges and setbacks. But when we approach this work with an open heart and a clear sense of purpose, we open ourselves up to a greater sense of meaning, fulfillment, and connection to the world around us. We discover that our own happiness and well-being are intricately tied to the well-being of others, and that by giving back and making a difference, we not only create positive change in the world, but we also enrich our own lives in countless ways. So take time to reflect on the causes and issues that matter most to you, to find practical ways to get involved and take action, and to cultivate a sense of resilience and self-compassion along the way. Remember that every small act of kindness, every moment of connection and service, has the power to create ripples of positive change that extend far beyond ourselves. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with generosity, compassion, and a willingness to make a difference in the world, one small step at a time. Chapter 28. Integrating Ikigai with Your Career and Professional Life Integrating Ikigai with your career and professional life is a powerful way to align your work with your sense of purpose and passion. When you find ways to incorporate your Ikigai into your job or business, you not only experience greater fulfillment and satisfaction in your work, 
but you also bring your unique strengths and values to bear in service of something greater than yourself. One of the key challenges of integrating Ikigai with your career is finding ways to balance your personal passions and values with the demands and expectations of your work. This can be especially difficult if you feel like your current job or industry doesn't align with your Ikigai, or if you're facing pressure to prioritize financial success or external recognition over your own sense of purpose and meaning. To navigate these challenges, it's important to start by getting clear on what your Ikigai is and how it relates to your work. This might involve reflecting on your passions, skills, and values, and considering how they could be applied in a professional context. You might ask yourself questions like, what aspects of my work bring me the most joy and fulfillment? How can I use my unique strengths and talents to make a positive impact in my job or industry? What values or causes do I care deeply about? And how might I incorporate them into my work? Once you have a clearer sense of your ikigai and how it relates to your work, the next step is to start looking for opportunities to integrate them more fully. This might involve advocating for projects or initiatives that align with your passions and values, seeking out mentors or colleagues who share your sense of purpose, or even exploring new career paths or entrepreneurial ventures that allow you to more fully express your ikigai. One practical way to integrate Ikigai with your career is to look for ways to use your skills and expertise in service of causes or communities you care about. This might involve volunteering your time or services to nonprofit organizations, partnering with socially responsible businesses or initiatives, or even starting your own purpose driven enterprise. For example, if your Ikigai involves a passion for environmental sustainability and a talent for marketing, you might look for ways to use your skills to promote eco-friendly products or initiatives within your company, or even start your own sustainable business. Or if your ikigai involves a deep commitment to social justice and a background in law, you might explore ways to use your legal expertise to support marginalized communities or advocate for policy change. Whatever your specific ikigai and professional context may be, the key is to approach the process of integration with creativity, flexibility, and a willingness to take risks and try new things. It may require stepping outside your comfort zone, advocating for yourself and your values, and even making difficult choices or trade-offs along the way. It's also important to be patient and persistent in the process of integrating Ikigai with your career. Depending on your current job or industry, it may take time to find opportunities that fully align with your sense of purpose and passion. You may need to start small, building relationships and credibility over time, and be willing to adapt and pivot as you learn and grow. Integrating Ikigai with your career can also involve cultivating a sense of mindfulness and presence in your daily work. Even if your job doesn't perfectly align with your Ikigai, you can still find ways to bring your full self to your work and approach each task or interaction with a sense of purpose and intention. This might involve setting intentions for your workday, taking breaks to recharge and reconnect with your values, or even incorporating mindfulness practices like deep breathing or meditation into your routine. By cultivating a sense of presence and purpose in your daily work, you can infuse even the most mundane tasks with a sense of meaning and fulfillment. Integrating Ikigai with your career and professional life is a lifelong process that requires ongoing reflection, experimentation, and growth. As your passions, skills, and values evolve over time, so too may your sense of purpose and the ways in which you express it through your work. The key is to stay open to new possibilities, to keep learning and growing, and to trust in the process of aligning your work with your deepest sense of purpose and meaning. It may not always be easy or straightforward, but the rewards of living and working in alignment with your ikigai are immeasurable. When you approach your career with a sense of purpose and passion, you not only experience greater fulfillment and satisfaction in your own life, but you also have the power to make a positive impact on the world around you. You bring your unique gifts and perspective to bear in service of something greater than yourself, and you inspire others to do the same. Integrating Ikigai with your career and professional life 
is a powerful way to align your work with your sense of purpose and passion. It requires getting clear on your values and strengths, seeking out opportunities to use them in service of something greater, and cultivating a sense of mindfulness and presence in your daily work. The path may not always be clear or easy, but with patience, persistence, and a willingness to take risks and try new things, you can create a career and life that truly reflects your deepest sense of meaning and purpose. Chapter 29 Living an Authentic and Purposeful Life Living an authentic and purposeful life is the essence of Ikigai. It means aligning your actions, choices, and relationships with your deepest values, passions, and sense of meaning. When you live authentically and purposefully, you experience a profound sense of fulfillment, joy, and connection to yourself and the world around you. One of the key challenges of living an authentic and purposeful life is learning to trust yourself and your own inner wisdom. In a world filled with external pressures, expectations, and distractions, it can be easy to lose sight of what truly matters to you and what makes you feel alive and fulfilled. You may find yourself conforming to others' ideas of success or happiness, or pursuing goals and paths that don't align with your true self. To live authentically and purposefully, you must develop a deep sense of self-awareness and self-trust. This means taking the time to reflect on your values, passions, and strengths, and learning to listen to your own inner voice and intuition. It means being honest with yourself about what you truly want and need, and having the courage to pursue those things even when it feels challenging or unconventional. One practical way to cultivate self-awareness and self-trust is through regular self-reflection and introspection. This might involve journaling, meditation, or simply taking time each day to check in with yourself and your feelings. You might ask yourself questions like, what do I truly value and believe in? What activities or experiences make me feel most alive and fulfilled? What are my unique strengths and talents, and how can I use them to make a positive impact in the world? As you develop a clearer sense of your authentic self and purpose, the next step is to start aligning your actions and choices with those values and passions. This means setting intentions and goals that reflect your true priorities and aspirations, and taking consistent action towards those goals each day. It also means being willing to say no to things that don't align with your purpose or values, even if they seem appealing or expected by others. This can be challenging, especially if you're used to pleasing others or conforming to external expectations. But by setting clear boundaries and staying true to yourself, you create space for the things that truly matter and bring you joy and fulfillment. Living an authentic and purposeful life also involves cultivating meaningful relationships and connections with others. When you surround yourself with people who share your values and support your growth and well-being, you create a sense of belonging and community that can be deeply nourishing and fulfilling. This might involve seeking out mentors, friends, or collaborators who inspire and challenge you to be your best self, and who appreciate and celebrate your unique gifts and perspective. It might also involve being a source of support and encouragement for others, and using your own experiences and insights to help others find their own sense of purpose and meaning. Authenticity and purpose are not static or fixed states, but rather ongoing processes of growth, learning, and evolution. As you move through different stages and experiences of life, your sense of purpose and authenticity may shift and deepen in new ways. The key is to stay open to new possibilities and insights, and to approach each day with a sense of curiosity, presence, and intention. It means being willing to take risks, face challenges, and learn from failures and setbacks, knowing that each experience is an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Living an authentic and purposeful life is not always easy or comfortable. It requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to step outside your comfort zone and embrace uncertainty and change. It means being willing to face your own fears, doubts, and limiting beliefs, and to keep showing up for yourself and your purpose, even when it feels hard or overwhelming. But the rewards of living authentically and purposefully are immeasurable. When you align your life with your deepest values and passions, 
you experience a sense of wholeness, joy, and fulfillment that goes beyond external measures of success or achievement. You feel a deep sense of connection to yourself, others, and the world around you. And you know that you are living a life that truly matters and makes a positive impact. Living an authentic and purposeful life is the heart of Ikigai. It means trusting yourself, aligning your actions with your values, cultivating meaningful relationships, and staying open to growth and evolution. It requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to embrace uncertainty and change. But when you live from a place of authenticity and purpose, you experience a profound sense of joy, meaning, and connection that makes all the challenges and struggles worthwhile. Your ikigai is waiting for you, and the path to discovering it is paved with self-awareness, intention, and a commitment to living a life that truly reflects your deepest self and purpose. Chapter 30 Inspiring Others and Leaving a Meaningful Legacy Inspiring Others and leaving a meaningful legacy are natural outcomes of living a life aligned with your ikigai. When you discover and pursue your true purpose, you not only experience a deep sense of fulfillment and joy, but you also have the power to positively impact the lives of those around you and create a lasting legacy that extends beyond your own lifetime. One of the most powerful ways to inspire others is simply by living your ikigai with authenticity, passion, and purpose. When you show up in the world as your true self, pursuing the things that matter most to you and making a positive difference in your own unique way, you naturally inspire and encourage others to do the same. People are drawn to those who exude a sense of purpose, joy, and vitality, and your own example can be a powerful catalyst for change and growth in others' lives. Whether it's through your work, your relationships, your creative pursuits, or your community involvement, Every aspect of your life becomes an opportunity to share your gifts and make a meaningful impact. To amplify your impact and inspire others more intentionally, consider sharing your story and insights with others. This might involve mentoring or coaching others who are seeking to discover their own ikigai, or sharing your experiences and lessons learned through writing, speaking, or teaching. You might also look for opportunities to collaborate with others who share your values and vision, and to create communities or initiatives that support and inspire others on their own ikigai journeys. When you join forces with like-minded individuals and organizations, you can create a powerful ripple effect of positive change and inspiration that extends far beyond your own individual efforts. Leaving a meaningful legacy is not about achieving fame, wealth, or status but rather about making a lasting positive impact on the world and the lives of others. It's about using your unique gifts, talents, and experiences to create something of value that endures beyond your own lifetime. This might involve creating a body of work or a project that reflects your passions and values, and that continues to inspire and benefit others long after you're gone. It might involve starting a business or organization that embodies your purpose and mission and that becomes a self-sustaining force for good in the world. It might also involve passing on your wisdom, values, and life lessons to future generations, whether through your own children and family, or through mentoring and teaching others. When you share your insights and experiences with others, you help to shape the lives and choices of those who come after you, and ensure that your legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of those you've touched. Leaving a meaningful legacy also involves being intentional about the choices and actions you take each day, and considering the long-term impact of your decisions and behaviors. It means being mindful of the resources you use, the relationships you cultivate, and the values you embody, knowing that every choice you make has the potential to ripple out and affect the world in ways you may never fully comprehend. Inspiring others and leaving a meaningful legacy are not about seeking external validation or recognition, but rather about living in alignment with your deepest values and purpose, and using your unique gifts to make a positive difference in the world. It's about being true to yourself, following your heart, and trusting that your authentic expression of your ikigai will naturally inspire and impact others in ways that matter. Of course, inspiring others and leaving a meaningful legacy is not always easy or straightforward. It requires courage, 
vulnerability, and a willingness to take risks and face challenges along the way. It means being willing to learn from failures and setbacks, to adapt and evolve as you grow and change, and to keep showing up with an open heart and a commitment to making a positive impact, even when the path ahead is uncertain or difficult. But the rewards of inspiring others and leaving a meaningful legacy are immeasurable. When you live a life aligned with your ikigai, you not only experience a profound sense of joy, purpose, and fulfillment, but you also have the power to touch and transform the lives of countless others and to create a lasting impact that endures long after you're gone. Inspiring others and leaving a meaningful legacy are the ultimate expressions of a life well-lived, a life that reflects your deepest values, passions, and purpose. It's about using your unique gifts and experiences to make a positive difference in the world and to create something of enduring value that continues to inspire and benefit others long after you're gone. So trust in the power of your own authentic expression and know that by living your ikigai with passion, purpose, and integrity, you are already inspiring others and leaving a meaningful legacy, one choice and action at a time. Your impact may not always be visible or measurable, but it is real, and it matters more than you can possibly imagine. Chapter 31 Embracing Your Ikigai and Living a Life of Purpose Throughout this book, we have explored the concept of Ikigai and its potential to transform our lives in profound and meaningful ways. We have examined the four pillars of Ikigai passion, mission, vocation, and profession and how aligning these elements can lead to a deep sense of purpose, fulfillment, and joy. We have also delved into the practical strategies and tools for discovering and living our ikigai, from cultivating self-awareness and mindfulness to building resilience and embracing imperfection. We have explored the role of relationships, creativity, and giving back in creating a life of meaning and purpose, and how integrating our ikigai into our daily routines and professional lives can lead to greater satisfaction and impact. Now, as we come to the end of this journey, it is time to reflect on what we have learned and how we can apply these insights to our own lives. Embracing our ikigai is not a one-time event or a destination to be reached, but rather an ongoing process of self-discovery, growth, and evolution. It requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to step outside our comfort zones and take risks in pursuit of what truly matters to us. But the rewards of living a life aligned with our ikigai are immeasurable. When we discover and pursue our true purpose, we tap into a wellspring of energy, creativity, and resilience that allows us to overcome challenges and obstacles with grace and determination. We experience a profound sense of connection to ourselves, others, and the world around us and we know that we are making a positive impact in ways that truly matter. Embracing our ikigai also means letting go of external expectations and definitions of success, and trusting in our own inner wisdom and intuition. It means being true to ourselves, even when it feels uncomfortable or goes against the grain of societal norms and pressures. It means having the courage to say no to what no longer serves us and yes to what truly lights us up and brings us alive. Of course, living a life of purpose and meaning is not always easy. There will be times of doubt, fear, and uncertainty, when we question our choices and wonder if we are on the right path. There will be setbacks and failures, moments when we feel lost or disconnected from our sense of purpose. But it is in these moments that the true power of Ikigai reveals itself. When we have a clear sense of our values, passions, and purpose, we have a north star to guide us through the storms of life. We have a reason to keep going, even when the path ahead is unclear or the obstacles seem insurmountable. We have a deep well of resilience and inner strength to draw upon, knowing that we are living in alignment with our deepest truths and aspirations. Embracing our ikigai is a lifelong journey of self-discovery and growth. It requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to embrace the unknown and the uncomfortable. It means being open to new experiences and perspectives, and allowing ourselves to be transformed by the wisdom and insights we encounter along the way.
but the rewards of living a life of purpose and meaning are worth every step of the journey. When we embrace our ikigai, we not only experience a profound sense of fulfillment and joy, but we also have the power to inspire and impact others in ways we may never fully comprehend. We become a force for good in the world, using our unique gifts and experiences to create a legacy of love, compassion, and positive change. So as you close this book and step forward into the next chapter of your life, know that your ikigai is waiting for you. It may not always be clear or easy to find, but trust that it is there, guiding you towards a life of purpose, meaning, and authentic expression. Have the courage to listen to your heart, to follow your passions, and to trust in the journey. Surround yourself with people and experiences that inspire and support you, and be willing to let go of what no longer serves you. Embrace the challenges and the joys, the successes and the failures knowing that each one is an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Most of all, remember that you are a unique and precious being, with gifts and talents that the world needs now more than ever. Your ikigai is not just about finding personal fulfillment, but about using your life to make a positive difference in the lives of others and the world around you. So go forth with courage, compassion, and a deep sense of purpose. Embrace your ikigai and live a life that truly matters, one authentic choice and action at a time. The world is waiting for you, and the journey ahead is full of infinite possibility and promise.